Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Can we get we picture live? as well? Seems good. Fantastic. Okay, so we're back with Terraria. Uh, I don't think this actually counts, but I'm trying to find a Medusa in the marble biome. And I'm thinking at this depth it just doesn't work, or maybe there needs to be background walls or something. Uh, but it turns out we need a pocket mirror to complete the the everything debuff preventer. Um, so I think uh, if we don't find a Medusa here soon, which I really would have expected to see almost immediately, um, I guess we'll look somewhere else. We also need to find the Shimmer, which I've still never seen before. I guess I could just start digging down from here. That's as good a place as any. And we have easy access to it uh, by teleporting uh, with the magic conch. So, yeah, why don't we actually start digging right about here? That's nice and fast with the pixel. Let's see what we find. We got underground hollow. Didn't know that was here. Zura and uh, not slipped it. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finally, back to Terraria. I'm doing Terraria every week. What do you mean? Um, I think this is just going to be regular hello, so let's keep digging. Don't really have a need for a crystal heart at this point. Hope you're doing good too. Thank you. Am I still drowning? Yeah, kind of. Kept that water handy. Uh oh, is this too? Is this too much? Nope, we're good. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just keep digging down. Why don't we take an obsidian skin potion? Make it easy. Got plenty of them remaining. And I'm pretty sure I can easily make them as well. Don't even need it now. Oh, here we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Marble biome. Um, but I don't want it to be full of lava... Actually, I think I've got a Lava Absorbent Sponge uh, in my safe, I guess. So I can get rid of this pretty easily. Um, but more to the point, we should be able to get a Medusa to spawn here. I think. I'm not seeing any... Uh, what are those spear chuckers called? Which would tell me that we're in the right biome. Uh, like, officially. So I don't know if this is working or not. Let's get this lava out of here. Up we go. So the last time was seven days ago? E yes? I don't know if, um, because this is a hallowed biome, I don't know if we're going to get Medusa's spawning here or not. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for, hoplite. So we should be able to get uh, Medusa's here. Let's get rid of this lava as well. And I guess we just put down a water candle and go back and forth looking for Medusa to spawn. Or I could stand around here. They should spawn over this way, maybe. 
Depends on how many monsters are getting stuck. Oh, that's a hoplite. Uh, at the corners of the screen. There's the Medusa we're looking for. Get over here. And she didn't drop it. I don't know what her odds are of dropping what we're looking for. Um, I think we need to kill a bunch of them before we see these stats. Not sure how many. Gotta stay out of range of her, uh, instant petrification, though. Medusa head? What did we just pick up? 67 magic damage. Don't tell me it turns enemies to stone. That's nasty. Oh, wow. Uh, probably shouldn't be using it against Medusa, though. I also uh, went and re-rolled our Magic Sphere to get a bit more damage. It's actually pretty... Uh, Magnet Sphere, rather. It's actually pretty expensive to roll, but it is quite strong. Really, really good secondary weapon. Um, alright, I might even... Well, I was gonna say I might put down a water candle. Do I have one handy? Uh, I don't think so. It's not that much compared to what we've got now, but ooh, we can farm Chaos Elementals here as well. So there's a teeny tiny chance we'll get Rod of Discord. I might kind of sort of need it um, against uh, Cthulhu's brother. Hello, hello, Monterax, Devil's Dandruff. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. Um, what if I let this bat out? There you go. Be free. Just kidding. Hot plates are spawning over here as well. Let's dig this through so they can come through, theoretically. Uh, yeah, I just... I just wish I had a... Water candle handy. Maybe I should burn a potion of return. Seems good. If we don't see... If, if we don't get our mirror in a couple of seconds, I'll do that. Actually, wait. We can get back here super easily. I'll just port home. This is actually an excellent spot to form... Uh, to farm chaos elementals, apparently. Have you checked out Cosmatia? Uh, not yet, no. I have not. down this way. That increase the throughput of enemies we can kill here. I could probably clap Queen Slime pretty easily now, even in a pretty confined space. all hallowed enemies now. Oh, there we go. Alright, 
Let's go back and get a water candle and maybe a battle potion. Where am I keeping them? Not in here, apparently? Uh... I thought they would be in one of the magic bags. Silt goes in the extractinator. And... Don't really care about gladiator leggings. Got a million wizard hats. Javelins are out of date. Um, sell that. Put this in the weapon collection. Don't need another dual hook. I think this is our first amethyst, actually. Let's just shove it in here. It's actually... No, here it, here it is. It's the worst tier of gems, anyway. Okay, put this here for now. Till we get our mirror. Uh, do we have a fishing quest? Caught in corruption. Let's do that real quick. Actually just got the uh, angler pants, finally. So we got a full set of fishing gear. Or at least the basics. Should probably get some minions out. Uh, we'll need some bait. And... Fish. Doop 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 I never get tired of the corruption music. Oh, there we go. There's our fish. Very, very fast. And we get... normal stuff. Another fish in a bottle. I don't think I can fit it up here. Nor do I really care for a second one. Stuck that away. And what's this? Marble block. I think there's a few things we can do with that, but it's all just cosmetic, basically. Oh, we need to make smooth marble block. And then smooth marble block, makes furniture, some really nice chests. Uh, lanterns. But yeah, nothing, nothing essential. Even so, let's put that away. I think there was a use for marble blocks specifically in Calamity, but I don't really remember. Alright. Let's get back downstairs. I'll take that soul though. Down we go. Wraith banner, that's the perfect spot for it. Could you be persuaded to stop? Down we go. As is light. Oh, I forgot to get the... I'm going to use a potion of return. I forgot to get the water candle. Because I didn't actually find them. Uh, I don't know where I'm keeping them. Or how many I've got. Maybe I've put them all down. Um, I should definitely have a safe inside my piggy bank so that we've always got that stuff on hand even if it takes a few clicks um yeah not really seeing what i'm looking for here i guess i could go to the dungeon to get more water candles I think we can craft them, but I don't remember how or what to show to the guide to make those happen. Uh, there's a... oh, that's a peace candle, I think. No, oh, that's a water candle. I don't want to borrow it from here, though. 
Oh, and this is the post-Plantera dungeon. This is actually serious business. And there's some good drops. So... Let's kill some of those while we're here. If anything, I should be taking a calming potion, because this place can get pretty dangerous. It's paladin time. I'm kind of glad to know that we can farm every dungeon enemy in this area. Oh, not so glad to almost get three shots. Slight downside of uh, the Shield of Cthulhu. It's hard to run past enemies. I'm looking for Ninja... Oh, we got it already. Black Belt and Ninja Tabai from Bone Lee. There's our rocket launcher. Actually, I don't like the rocket launcher that much. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult searching the dungeon to get water candles at this point. a little tricky sometimes when our homing missile doesn't want to go where we want it to go. This weapon's not as strong as I thought it would be. Okay, I think that's that's enough for now. Um, let's go back. We actually got three tabai in that time. Three rocket launchers as well. Barbecue ribs, nice. Um, I believe it is these two items plus uh, climbing gear that makes the black belt, uh, the master ninja gear. Let me just double check if there aren't any new recipes that I'd want to consider first. Doesn't look like it. It's literally just the one thing. Cool. So we now have, I believe it's a 10% chance to just not take damage. Uh, and we can dash. We can no longer do a dash attack, but at this stage, like, the damage is negligible. Um, it's really more about deflecting an attack. But just as often, um, I find that the Shield of Cthulhu kind of prevents me from escaping at this point. I would, I'll definitely keep this for, like, fighting Duke Fishron, for example. Certain bosses being able to deflect a hit like that is actually just incredibly good. Menacing? I'll take that. Let's put the shield over here. So now we can have... Climbing walls doesn't really do much at this stage. I mean, it's not bad or anything. I'm just trying to demonstrate it. But I can't even find a good spot to do that. There we go. We can actually cling to walls like this. But really it's just for the 10% dodge, which can actually be pretty huge. Um, I feel like the Toxic Cup might be even better, weirdly enough, than Scourge of the Corruptor. What are we on? We're, we're using ranged damage at the moment anyway. Uh, I kind of wanted to get some more hallowed bars so I could make a whole extra set to switch to easily. I wish there were more loadouts. I I'd love to do three classes plus fishing. 
Um, but let's see. Uh, I might just be lazy and sell the Tabai. Rocket Launcher is not that great either. But I think it gives us the ability to at least buy rockets. The horrors have arrived. I don't feel like it. Go away. And we're done. I think we get... Um, no? I thought this gave us movement bonuses as well. It's just dash, dodge, and wall climb. Oh. Wait, what? It's still on? What? What? No. I don't wanna. Bruh. No means no. Is there anywhere I can go to ignore this event? Ow. I, I really don't feel like fighting these things right now. Could, could we maybe not, actually? I'm just waiting to see if anything else is going to spawn over here. I'm pretty sure we're good. Okay. What was I trying to figure out before we were so rudely interrupted? And the sundial, for some reason, didn't skip... Uh, uh, the equivalent of the solar equi uh, eclipse. Uh, if I go down here, we're sure to get those enemies reappearing. I don't want to just wait around for, like, literally 13 minutes, though. Nor do I want to fight them for 13 minutes. I could go to the dungeon. Uh, and we could do some different difficult combat to farm some stuff. I could also look for water candle. I was going to try to figure out by showing something to the guide. Water candle. Let me just look it up. Uh, it can be made with candle, platinum candle, and crystal ball, or sink and water. Crystal ball and sink or water. Interesting. I'm not clear, but I think it might be either candle or platinum candle. Yeah, I think that's right. Wait, how do I make a regular candle? Is it just an unspecific type of candle? Maybe. I guess I'll show the guide uh, some torches, and we'll see what he says. Okay. Could go back to the dungeon. There's actually a sky island here I haven't checked out. Let's do that. Rockets, indeed. We do have some rocket launchers. we go. Um, I don't actually need to keep this NPC home here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, don't, do not want, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I think that stops the Martians from coming. Uh, 
yeah, I think I'm considering getting rid of this because it's going to be in the way when I fight the Moon Lord. But I guess we don't have to do it right away. Let's go. I can actually fly all the way up to this thing. Did it miss us? I think we can ignore it. Do not want to fight the Martians right now. I hope. I hope our summons didn't just cause the Martians to appear, though. This is la holy crap. That's not what I was expecting. When I turned on the lights. Um, I think if I hang around close enough to meteors to get meteor heads to spawn, it might stop all of the nasty stuff, actually. I think it's it's usually just meteor heads that spawn if you're close enough. So I can get a moment to get my bearings. Um, we, we can actually just go to the temple and then fly up this way, it looks like. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a hoverboard. That's why I was putting together um, Shroomite. Because the way we can suddenly go hard left or right at dash speed indefinitely is very, very strong, to say the least. This is actually just another fishing spot. A little disappointed, but I guess it's fine. Do I have any more business in the temple? I guess I could clean up all this wire. For one thing. I might have missed some loot. I have my doubts. A chest here. Why don't we grab all the chests just to be sure? Oh yeah, here's some loot. damage if they actually hit. It's dark. I don't like it. Okay. Give me all those wires. Fantastic. Did we just get a banner for these things? Yep. Make it a little bit easier. go through this a lot more carefully and slowly last time because they actually fixed it so you can't just destroy all the traps by cutting the wires not to mention see all the traps until you actually beat the boss
I think I'll bite the bullet and break some uh, demon altars. It would have been a nice novelty to beat the game without doing that, but it's literally just a matter of spending too much time fishing to get the last three uh, titanium so that we can make a forge. Oops. Holy crap, how are you not stopped by that? That's a worm. And that's a flying snake. It always prefers to go horizontal. Uh, like, it changes the horizontal, not the vertical, so I have to line these up carefully. Fantastic. How do we get Cursed Flame down here? Oh, there's still traps active. Let's be a little bit careful. there yet? Yeah, we are. Very big dungeon. A temple. Temple dungeon. Oh, that does change the vertical. Fascinating. got all the loot this time. And it's a done. What time is it? Three more minutes until the solar eclipse stops. Considering that um, we're getting corruption enemies spawning here, I would imagine at this depth we wouldn't get solar eclipse enemies. I guess we can find out. How much more space do I have? A bit. Alright. Oops, that's the wrong post. In we go. And let's see if we can't find a Medusa. Or oh, 17,000. However much, however many it takes to get that mirror. Couple more minutes, Solar Eclipse will be over, and we can go talk to the guide about mass producing some water candles. Oh, there's a Medusa. Get in here. Give me a mirror. Uh, that is not a mirror. Yeah. 
If I can get a rod of discord, all the better. What's the drop rate on this mirror? I thought it would be like near a hundred percent. Uh, since, if I'm not mistaken, you can only get it from one enemy, and it's a semi-rare enemy. Oh, we got a Hallowed Mimic. About the 6,000th one, and we can't get any Corrupt mir Mimics. Pretty awkward little space to fight in. There we go. Illuminate hook number seven. That might not even be an exaggeration. Okay. We can go back now. Oh, there's still some... Some horror enemies here. Why is the music still going? It's it's nighttime now. What what is going on? Oh my No. Um tell you what, back through the portal. Where is it? I don't think they're here anymore. Alright, cool. That works. Alright, let's find out how to make some candles. Crafting... torch... Uh... I see lantern. I see some kind of candle. Stardust brick. Platinum candle needs platinum. I know that works. Oh, here it is, candle. Oh. It's gold or platinum, so it's basically the same. Alright, fine. Let's grab... Uh, whichever is less common in this world, because I might just use them all up. Actually, on the off chance there's something specific we need that for, let's not. Um, Alright, Platinum Candle, 20. Oh, it's actually just one each. Make it 50. Uh, and then Water Candle is literally just Crystal Ball. Oh, plus water. Let's borrow this sink. Fantastic. Alright, we're not going to be running out of those for at least seven minutes. I just quick stacked them and I didn't see where they went. Um, that's cool. So now we have 50-something water candles and I still don't know where they are. I guess we look in all of these chests. Unless I want to craft one more just to find out where they went. Should be over this way somewhere. Unless I somehow overlooked them. Ah, uh, fine. One more. Candle. LJKLX15. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, water candle, quick stack. It goes over in the... It was in the piggy bank this whole time. It's way down the bottom here. 
Okay, well, we now have way more water candles than we need. Uh, why don't I empty my inventory while we're here? And... Sell... Sell, sell... I like Izor head. Amazing. Sell, sell, sell. Keep the barbecue ribs. I need to buy more bacon, actually. Don't care about solar tablet fragments. Um, let's turn those into solar tablets and get rid of the remainder. And dynamite up here. Okay. How much money do I have? Right now. Five plat. Alright, let's get some more... Some more bacon. Can I find the sweet spot where I can just hold the button down? There's like one specific spot in this... No, I think it only works with individual hooks, actually. Is the problem. Uh, okay, you know what? Real quick. I think I actually sold my diamond hook. We've got plenty of diamonds remaining. We'll keep this one. Uh, diamond hook. Let's see if my theory is correct. It is. And we already have a couple of bacon. Fantastic. We do get, uh, maybe like... half or a third of the gold back directly, but we can also sell all this other stuff. Actually, a pretty, pretty decent haul. Ten bacon already. Should get twenty at this rate. Oh yeah, I was told to have a chat with the uh, the witch doctor. Maybe there was a patch or something. Apparently, he's going to sell the wings. It's a bit late now, but still, I'm curious. After all that, we only got 15 bacon. Got a little less lucky towards the end. Uh, but that's our food. Why don't I put these two away somewhere? And diamonds can go in here. We'll put the hook in here as well. Alright, so we have our water candle. So we can get more Medusa per minute. I could also take a Hunter Potion. Do I have one? No, I think I only make those occasion- Oh, here we go, Battle Potion. That's what I meant. Maximum spawn rate. Medusa. Still no mirror. Feels bad.
enemies keep getting stuck. Need to do something about that. How about this? That might help. Oh, she almost got me. No mirror, feels bad then. Let's dig through here as well. So the monsters can get through to us. Oh yeah, the lava absorbent sponge. I was going to use that. Uh, let's get a safe on the ground. Grab this. Can I reach up here? Nope. Absorb. Ow. Rude. All the lava. am I burning right now? Is that still from that arrow? And we dig up here. We absorb the lava. It's taking its sweet time. But the sooner we get monsters able to get to us from every angle, uh, the faster we're likely to get that uh, drop or two. spell. Okay. Oh, we got stoned. Still looking for mirror. That's a Medusa. Does it just not drop on this seed? I keep finding myself asking that. Probably just been having bad luck. I'm Draken the Dragon back again. Draken plays. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's Bonesy. What do you got for us, Bonesy? Radar, we've already got. Um, I mean, we've already got all this. We're not too fast. Let's 
Let's get rid of this barrier right here. Oh, I saw the uh, dust, the smoke cloud of the ninja gear preventing a hit. Alright, lava absorbent sponge goes in here. Um, the rest can go in here for now. Unpleasant Gladius. What's the drop rate on this thing? I'm gonna check. Uh, mirror? Pocket mirror. 2.5%. That is not a whole lot. It's not that bad, but it's a, it's way lower than I thought it would be. That's actually pretty obnoxious. I mean, first we have to find a Medusa. Then we've got a 2.5% chance to get the pocket mirror. Not impressed. There's one over there. Pizza. Fantastic. I should put a sentry down. I don't actually have one, though. I hear Medusa. We're getting souls of light, at least. That's good. We got 20. 28, actually. this rate we're going to get the Rod of Discord before we get the uh, mirror. Let's put our banners down. May as well. Uh, illuminate Slime, Illuminate Bat. I'm a Polish number one million. I might just pave over this part so that monsters stop falling in there. Or maybe just some platforms will do. Oh, it's another rune wizard. Let's not get clapped. Still got enemies getting stuck. Medusa spawning up there. It seems like there just has to be marble on the screen and she'll spawn anywhere. Or pizza? Never coming here for a demon altar. Let's smash this one. That's number one. We're looking for multiples of three. Because it's really just titanium that we're trying to get. Medusa head again. Oh wow. We got 
I got stoned. Twice. Help me, minions. I think they changed it so that you don't get insta-killed by falling uh, if Medusa turns you to stone. Because that's how one of my hardcore runs ended. Literally falling, like, this far out of the sky while petrified, even though I had wings. Hey, we got a magic quiver. That's something. That's actually a pretty big deal for when we're going to go full DPS against a boss. Another 10% damage. Still no rod or... Um, what was the other one? Rod or mirror, though. At this rate, we're going to get a rune wizard banner before we get either of our drops. just sit here. I don't know if it'd be that much slower. We're literally gonna get a... a banner before we get the mirror, I think. How many Medusas have we killed? Can we see here? Uh, we've killed 26. We don't know the chance for the mirror yet. I don't know if we have to... We probably have to kill like 50, get the first banner, before it'll tell us. I wonder how many Chaos Elementals we've killed. Uh, only 32. Why are we getting tin ore? At least we'll have plenty of souls. Let's get rid of this lava. Ol Herland, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the huge raid yesterday, Madness. How's the stream going? Not too bad. Uh, we're getting some terrible luck trying to get a couple of somewhat rare items. But other than that, it's going fine. Let me just put this back where it belongs. And I'll get rid of this little bit of terrain here as well. So we have yet another way that the monsters can get to us quickly, wherever they spawn. Uh-oh. Minion, you gonna do something now? There we go. Hey, and that's how we get the pocket mirror. <laughs> nice. Alright, so all that's left uh, in this area to look for is... I think, uh, the Rod of Discord, which honestly takes too long to farm on stream. I think there was another banner that I had to put up. No. Nope. Sorry to hear about the luck, but I'm glad it's going fine. I only played the first 10 minutes of this game and got turned off. But this looks a lot more exciting. Yeah. Uh, your movement and everything at the start of the game is horrifically slow and clunky compared to late game. Alright, I might just sell to this guy some of this random stuff I have. Um, 
I was hoping to get more Chaos Elementals. Yet another Medusa head. Alright, let's go back. Maybe I should give it another go? Yeah. it's It takes a while to really get going, depending on where you draw the line for that. Uh, I guess I'll put the pizza away with these other high high value foods that don't that we don't get many of. Now it's the blood moon again. Let's uh let's try doing dread nautilus. Why not? First we need to get away from all these other enemies. Okay, so we got the Chum Caster. Much better chance of uh, fishing up Blood Moon enemies. We got some bait. And we've got the usual set of buff potions. That should be enough. On second thought, I'm not gonna f I'm not gonna mess around with Dread Nautilus. Let's get some Do I ha do I have an archery potion? I do. And we've got our ranged gear on. Alright, cool. Let's a try. Oh wait, let me get a sonar potion. So we know what we're fishing up. Wandering eye fish, don't care. Titanium crate, do care, but I didn't get it because I didn't have my fishing gear on. Rip. Those stars will kill you on the seed. Trout. Red snapper. Looking for red text. But not any of the stuff that we could have fished up in free hard mode. I think it's only really Dread Nautilus that I'm interested in. Zombie Merman, whatever. Oh, we can clap those now. Didn't mean to pull up the Wandering Eyefish, but we'll take it, I guess. It's possible we could go the whole night without getting Dread Nautilus, but not too likely. Blood Eel? Oh yeah, this is a hard mode one. But we do have... Uh... Razorblade Typhoon. Here we go, Dread Nautilus time. Let's go. Oh, he's reflecting. Ah! He's dying pretty quickly, but he's also pretty damn dangerous. There we go. Give me the good drop. Sanguine Star, fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Nice, that didn't take too long. Ow. Um, although, I mean, we've got Tempest stuff. That's actually amazing. Most of the time it's probably better, but for boss fights, um, Sanguine Staff is definitely going to be better. Because it'll actually reach the target. Sharknado off. I need to upgrade this. We got an annoying Sanguine Staff. Did they nerf this? Th these... These bats look a lot slower than I remember. Um, but they will always find their target is the main thing. Godly? Nah. Can I get a good damage roll? Is that double turtle? It is. 
Ruthless, that'll do. It's barely... Uh, it's like the lowest Ruthless roll possible. Bruh. Demonic? Not quite. Demonic again. <laughs> Unpleasant. I'm going to spend all of my gold on this. We are not getting very lucky with these rolls. Also, could these enemies just stop, actually? Maybe Blood Moon isn't the best time to try and do this. I think I've got uh, Ice Rod right here. Let's block that off. Okay. Sanguine Staff. Ruthless. There we go. Plus 17. Is that as good as it gets now? I don't know. They don't seem to have any knockback. Like, literally nothing. I think that... I, I think these may have been a waste of time. We might actually just be better off with the uh, Tempest stuff. Even when stuff is hard to hit. Well, I'm sure the Sanguine would do more da Okay, it does have knockback, it's just those bats don't care. Okay. One of each minion doesn't seem like the worst idea. Very consistent. Good coverage. What time is it? 2.37 a.m. Let's see if we can get a fishing quest done. Caught in desert. Got like a minute to do this. Uh, grab some bait. Fishing set. Don't need a red snapper. Uh, don't need a hobgoblin shark. Okay, okay, okay. It was weirdly difficult to switch uh, my loadout just now. Can I go? There we go. That was uncomfortable. They're a bit more dangerous in a confined space. Uh, we've got like one minute left to do this quest. Let's try. Hopefully that hobgoblin thing is gone. Yep. Fishing mode. Bomb fish, we don't care. Flounder. Why is it minus 24% fishing power? Scarab. Oh, I think that was probably the quest. Yes, we got it. Okay, drop this thing. And... quest. Fantastic. 22 seconds left. Alright, let's sort out our inventory. Sell this crap. Uh, how about... yes. No clown. Good. No more sneaky chatterbox bombs about to one-shot us. Of 
Grab all that loot. Traveling merchant has arrived. There might be a thing or two we still need from him. Where is he? Hello, I think. Do not eat the vile mushroom. Um... What? Uh, can I fit this somewhere? Do not eat the vile mushroom. I, if this is referencing something, I don't know what it is. Alright. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the sanguine stuff, even though it's been a little bit disappointing. Still looking for a... Uh, what's it called? Where's the guide? I'm still looking for a star cloak. There's a couple of things it goes into, and we don't have either of them. Uh, Alright, what's next then? We're looking for the Shimmer still. That's a lot of ground to cover. But I think we'll start by digging down from here again. Oh yeah, I forgot the Sanguine Bat always gives us at least a little bit of light. That's nice. Not nearly enough, though. Plus, when it attacks something, it leaves us. Alright, let's keep exp... Oh. Uh, let's keep expanding elevator number two. actually dug past the lava that we were sitting in. No need for an obsidian skin potion. What would this look like with a mining potion as well? Uh, let's see. Obsidian skin. Could you, could you be persuaded to stop? Tim. And mining potion. Do we not have a mining potion? Here, the, here it is. We've got 33. Oh, that's good. Down we go. As I, as I juggle a chaos elemental. <laughs> nice. More hello. Oh yeah, I need to break some demon altars. Um, I should do that now before we explore any further. Because we need to be finding that... Uh... Where should I start? We need to be finding the titanium after it's spawned. I'm thinking left side of the map. And we'll just go underground at the first opportunity. There we go. That's not what I had in mind.
but we did find a demon altar. Got some light down here. This is more what I was looking for. This is number three, I think. Adamantite, cobalt, mithril, adamantite, cobalt. So unfortunately, we've got 27 titanium, um, but zero adamantite uh, in terms of ore, that is. And we need 30 ore of either of those to make our furnace. So we'll basically have to start from scratch as if we just got into hard mode. Mithril, adamantite, cobalt. Mithril, adamantite, cobalt, mithril, adamantite, Cobalt, Mithril, Adamantite. Let's do three more. Actually, I see another three right in front of us. Let's just keep going a little bit longer. Adamantite. That's not a mimic, actually. Nothing too fancy in here, though. Alright, if that's not enough to casually find some adamantite lying around, I don't know what is. Alright, let's stack this stuff away. It's this black slime banner, the banner, don't really care at this point. Uh, marrow is sort of good, actually, but we've got Tsunami, I don't see myself using it. Quick stack, and we sell, and we quick stack, put this away, I can't reach that? Okay. Uh, and then? Spelunker potions. And we start looking... Nope. Give the Spelunker potions back. There we go. Uh, we start looking for titanium. As we cover lots of ground. Take all that. Wait, did I just drink all of the buff potions? No, I don't think I did. There's some titanium already. It feels very weird finding it so close to the surface, but it's don't dig up. It's actually as far from spawn as it gets. Is that already 30? Oh, that is way more than 30. Grab a little bit more since it's right in front of us. And give me a rod of discord. Nope. I wonder how this pattern of obsidian happened. Very interesting. 
Oh, the undead don't attack bones. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go back, make our adamantite forge. I kind of like the look of this one better anyway. Uh, and I believe we can now make chlorophyte. Bars. Fantastic. Which means we can now make homing bullets, if we so desire. Uh, it also means we can make Shroomite. Which is the main reason I bothered to do this. 61 Shroomite. Uh, gives us what? It's 18 for the hoverboard. We need 20 souls of flight. I'm sure we have those. Uh, Shroomite digging claw is kind of insane, but I really don't like the negative range. Um, and if we want to go all in on damage, but lose our invulnerability that we get every 30 seconds, we could go for Shroomite armor. But we have to be super specific uh, with the ranged damage type, because it only gives specifically bow, gun, or rocket damage. Oh, they changed it a bit. Launchers, dart guns, or anything else that doesn't shoot arrows or bullets. So it's arrows, bullets, and everything else. Interesting. So does that mean Shroomite Helmet would buff the Toxic Up? I guess so. Uh, but regardless, uh, there's two things I don't like about this armor. Three things I don't like about this armor, uh, which is really unfortunate because it's like our only ranged damage upgrade before Moon Lord. Um, you don't get that much more damage. You you do gain a bunch of defense, I think. 24, 16, 11. Okay, that's a significant bump in defense, but at the cost of being able to take one hit, no matter how powerful, for free, every 30 seconds or so. That's actually kind of huge. Uh, also, the weapon-specific damage, not just class-specific damage. Also, also the set bonus that gives you even more damage than that, but only if you, like, put yourself in stealth and then you can't move properly. Well, no, it's not if... No, I was thinking of the other set, which is way better. Um, it's not that you put yourself in stealth, it's that you have to sit still uh, to, like, fade into the background, and then you get more ranged damage, uh, which is just a recipe to make you get yourself hit. It's not so good. Uh, but the hoverboard, I definitely want. Uh, we need a mithril anvil. And we need some, uh, some souls of flight. And we get armored hoverboard. That's a good start. And if we hold down and left and right, um, we can now actually, I believe it's as fast as dashing. It doesn't instantly accelerate the same way a dash does, but you can, like, dash into it if you want to. Uh, but yeah, that actually... Does it have the same flight time? I wish it would just show the stats instead of having to look it up on the wiki. But I'm pretty sure it'll have about the same flight time as our wings. Yep, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, being able to suddenly... I wonder if they nerfed it a bit, or if it was like this before. Uh, pretty quickly go max speed, and constantly. You could just dash into it, I guess. 
uh, yeah, being able to maintain that speed horizontally for a bit is pretty strong. Especially against certain bosses where mobility is very important. Okay, um, let's sell this extra stuff. I never use Titan potions. We can always make them. Uh, as for the Shroomite bars, I think I already checked what else I can make with them. I guess I may as well make an armor set to compare. 24 plus 18, that's 42. We're like 11 short for the whole armor set. Let's get some mud. And we're just gonna block swap, dig out this chlorophyte ore, and replace it with some mud that it'll grow into. I think it's like, it's either four or five chlorophyte or uh, bar. So we need like 40 or so, at least. That should do it. Uh, let's make some bars. And some bars. Wait, what? Oh, I need the hammer. Here we go. The auto hammer. And then... Breastplate. Leggings. And I want to see the helmet. Uh, I need like 22, 22 more bars to compare all three. But let's see, our defense goes from 56 to 72. That's pretty significant. I, I still don't think it compares to the free hit every 30 seconds though. Uh, damage goes from 71... Uh, we have to assume we're moving to 77. That's not much. But if we sit still for a bit, at least it doesn't take long to cloak. But we have to not fire while it's doing that. Hmm. I definitely want to confirm that Toxicarp, for example, gets buffed by the Shroomite Helmet. Uh, let's put in this mud. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That dash, flight, hover. Nice and fast. That's another 49 already, should be all we need. Uh, Hamter, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Hey, we got the Star Cloak after the millionth uh, Mimic. I actually forgot that you could get them from Mimics, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get them. Let me just double check. I think there's two things that the Star Cloak combines with. There's three. Bee Cloak, Stars Fall, Release Bees, Douse Honey when damaged. Uh, stars Fall, Increase Invincibility, uh, Refresh Time, and uh, Automatic Mana Consumption. 
which we already got the magnet flower for. Uh, usually I'd make both of these, even if I don't end up using them. I'll just hold on to this one for now. Caught in Sky Lakes, that's a little bit of a problem. For the quest fish. Um... Oh yeah, we wanted to make some more Shroomite. And... Uh, we can make the helmet. I'm not using guns at all lately, so let's just make the mask. Which is apparently all we can afford. So this is 111 range damage, 96. It does buff it. 5% increased range crit strike. Increases specialized range damage by 10%. Oh no, I accidentally did the gun one. Uh, I have to make a whole other helmet. If we're going to use the bow with this. Give me that chlorophyte. Another mimic. This is our second star cloak, right? Oh, it's our millionth cross necklace. How much have we got? 55? That should be enough. Oh, I left a mimic there. Chlorophyte bar, just enough. And so we made the gun version. We need the bow version. Cool. So if we're moving 96 range damage per shot. Um Versus 83. Uh, what was the old set? 89. That is barely a difference. 89 range damage, 24 crit. Versus 96 and 34. It is 10% more crit damage. And like 10% more damage. Plus we get more defense, but defense does almost nothing against, like, the Moon Lord on this difficulty. So I really do think Holy Armor is still the way to go. Uh, also, where did my last bar of Shroomite go? It actually does take five bars to make one, uh, five ore to make one bar with this. I'm pretty sure Shroomite combines with Ectoplasm. Uh, it does not. Oh no, does that mean I wasted it? I think the Ectoplasm actually combines with Chlorophyte. Yep. Uh, that's for making our best available mage set at this point. Which may yet be the way to go. Nah, probably Tsunami. Let's make another mannequin. Put our cool Shroomite gear over here. I can't actually put the rest of it here. Unless... A couple more mannequins.
Okay. Actually, I know where this should go. And we stuck this away. Pretty sure 13 ectoplasm doesn't compare um, to what we need. Also, do we need adamantite as ore anymore? Not unless we want to make uh, cosmetic stuff with it. Alright, so let's make some bars. And put this away. And put the mud away. I think I'll keep the bee wings. Just in case. We want the aesthetic or something. I was supposed to talk to Connor. Uh, I don't see anything new. Apart from the fact that we've killed Plantera, so we can now get the Tiki set for summoning, which is actually really good. Um, that's probably the way to go in the dungeon, as a matter of fact. He's not selling the other summoner accessory that combines with this. Also, Vial of Venom is actually uh, pretty much as good as it gets for arrows for direct damage. We're going to make some, some poison arrows. Give us some regular arrows. Fantastic. And do we need a workbench or an anvil? Uh, here it is. Venom arrow. Compare it to cursed. Uh, we get a bit more range damage. Same crit. Inflicts targets with acid venom. Uh, the only downside is it doesn't highlight the target as well. But for more damage, it's a small price to pay. I doubt I'll ever use these cursed arrows, but I guess I'll hold them to them just in case. Uh, if I can decide where to put them. I guess I'll put the vial of venom in here. Bee wings. Cosmetic, really. Alright, so if we're going summoner... I never actually got that plus one minion accessory. Does he sell it during the day? What time is it? 9.48 a.m. I thought the only way to get it was to buy it. The, uh... Oh, Necromantic Scroll. I was completely wrong. The item that I was thinking of gives you plus one minion. I thought the, uh... Voodoo Doctor sold it. Necromantic Scroll comes from the spooky event. Uh, maybe I'll just ignore it for now. But we get plus... One, two, three, four. We get maximum six minions with this. About four... Uh, no. Four and two seems good. We get less defense. We don't get the... Damage blocker. Summon damage up by 15% plus minion knockback. Seems a good. 
and summon damage seems a good. Let's reforge. Probably for defense, honestly. Menacing? Okay, fine. I can live with that. Plus 19% damage for summons. And menacing again? Sure. Uh, actually, I could make slot 2 my summoning set if we're going to swap that many accessories. Uh, I would have to go to the trouble of swapping the rather expensive Terra Spark boots like this. Uh, this goes here. And this goes here. Did you notice the traveling merchant arriving? I think so, yeah. Oh, another one? Uh, where is he? I don't think... Does he go to the jungle? Probably. He's selling a DPS meter and a pulse bow. I don't know if he... <gasps> no! Uh... Sell this. I don't know if we have a DPS meter yet. I didn't realize I was about to throw away almost all of my gold. Uh, let's make another mannequin for the hallowed set. Actually, no, I was going to keep that here. Hallowed Ranger. Star Veil seems good. Uh, B Wings, sure, just so I don't have to swap them. I need a dash. And how about a double jump? This looks a bit silly. <laughs> All this old stuff. Yeah, I think that was our first DPS meter. Which ones does it combine with? Uh, stopwatch and metal detector. I'm 99% sure we have those. Yep, here we go. Which means the only thing we're missing to combine all of it is the bloody fishing accessories. Uh, but I won't be carrying that with me all the time. Can we put it in here, I guess? Pulse bow. It's a novelty. Good single target damage, but like everything, doesn't compare to Tsunami. Okay, so we are wearing uh, the Tiki set. We've got almost as much defense. Oh, well, that's not quite right. Yeah, pretty much we've got almost as much defense. Maybe I should just make a spare pair of lightning boots or something. So I don't have to worry about it swapping like this. Do we have all the ingredients for the boots? I've got like three spare pairs of water walking boots. Wow. I think it's literally just like ice skates or something that I need to make another um, set of Terra Spark. Uh, we got the aglet. We got the homies boots. We buy the rocket boots. 
We have no gold. I know where I can get some. This is why I stash these. What the? All right, that should be at least seven gold. Not as much as I thought it would be, actually. I have other things I can sell, but still. That was literally just like one gold. Huh. That was garbage. Um, okay. We've also got, like, party bullets and flasks in here somewhere. That's a significant chunk of the money we get back when we use the pig runs. Six gold... 84 silver. That should do it. Give me the rocket boots. Give me the spectra boots. Uh, give me the lightning boots if I can remember how to make them. Here we go. Cool. So, terra spark boots for our primary. And spare lightning boots for the other two. The fishing accessories took me forever to get, well past 50 quests, indeed. Uh, Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Bootfighter, welcome also. Alright, so... Uh, so this will be our summoning set. And the reason I'm putting that together right now is... Summoning is actually really strong in the dungeon. We'll go for two Sanguine Bats. I hate the way this works. They really make it difficult to reconfigure your minions. There we go. I won't bother with a summoning potion because then it'll just change... Uh, like the minion counts again. We should already have all these, yes, good, fantastic. And... Spelunker, go home. Alright, into the dungeon we go. And we take our buff potions. That, that right there is why Summoner rules the dungeon. Because there's so many enemies that are going to teleport behind you or something. And I th think apart from... Apart from, like, the Paladin... No, I think the Paladin as well, to some extent. Every enemy in the dungeon is crowd-controlled by being scratched. Oh! Speaking of Paladins... Always use the bow when we're out of mana. Ow. I got an angle on him. There we go. Could you not spawn right in front of me while I'm moving? Holy crap. Literally just trying to move two centimeters forward to pick up the loot. There we go. Okay. Uh, I was also going to look for water candles, but I forgot I made like 50 of them, so who cares. We've still got the tactical shotgun and the sniper rifle that we could get from here, but honestly those are not that great, especially if you've got Tsunami. So I don't know if there's actually anything left to look for in the dungeon. 
dungeon? Ow. Let's leave, that hurt. Wisp in a bottle is pretty good as far as light pets go, if you're into that sort of thing. I like the pumpkin better, it's a more natural light. The paladin hammer? It's pretty good, but I'm not going to play melee, I don't think. Unless, uh, unless they changed the paladin hammer in as exciting a fashion as certain other swords. Um, anywhere else I want to go? I guess we could look around as a summoner. Keep looking for the, uh, what is it called? The Shimmer? Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Down we go. I remember it being decent, but not OP. Yeah, it's it's not bad or anything. It's just not my style. If you know me, like it it does it it's an awkward weapon for me. We did kill Fishrun like ten times looking for his wings, but we never got them. 50th Spore Bat. Get out of here. What do we have here? I don't see a chest. Oh, there it is. What's that? Mushroom hat. Let's put that banner down. Where was it? Spore Bat. Uh, I would like a mining potion. Fantastic. And I don't think we're going to need a spelunker. We've already found all of our metals. I'm just looking for the shimmer at this point. I saw the house, but I don't... Whoa, that looked weird. I don't think there's anything that could be in the house um, that would be exciting. Also, I was going to say the Axe of Regrowth should have hit those trees first, but I was already holding ship with this, I guess. Actually, a lot of hello on this side of the map. We're already down to the lava place. And we don't quite drown. <laughs> well, no shimmer here. Should I dig another vertical shaft or should I go exploring through some of these? The shaft would be quicker, I think. Another pirate map. I hear a star. Mm, 
about here seems fine. Down we go. Yeah, if it's if it's in here and we miss it, bad luck, I guess. Say hello to those uh, chaos elementals just in case. Well, wow. the nanosecond that rune wizard appeared, getting clapped. Uh, inventory's looking a bit full. Whatever. Actually, I do not want to risk missing picking up something rare because inventory is full. Never mind, it's full again. Is this the same? No, it's not. It would be a very big mushroom biome. through here. Ow. It's down this way. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is close enough. Let's keep digging down here. Oh, we found it. it? Nope. Oh yes we can. But oh crap. Oh no. Wait what? Is it because the failing fell into the shimmer? Oh what the what what? Uh huh? Am I dead? Is this is this how we die? Do I just have to port home? Okay, that was different, and something silenced me. What common enemy here silences me? I think it's the sword, probably. I heard the tink tink tink. Uh, okay, cool. Let's start messing around. With the shimmer. I should probably make a teleporter to get there. It's not that far from the jungle pylon. Or I could make a teleporter from here to the shimmer. We could teleport there anytime. That would be a lot easier. Um, Alright, let's put our stuff away. Um, I have a statue. What are you laughing at? <laughs> uh, I wonder what happens if you throw, like, vanity items into the shimmer. Also, where's my magic mirror gone? Huh? Is... Wait. Has the pocket mirror been in there the whole time? I think it might have. But where did my magic mirror go? I didn't change it into a pocket mirror, did I? Somehow, I need a blindfold. Blindfold is... I can't, I can't see the chest. Oh, sue the slime, you are not helping. There we go, blindfold. Reflective Shades. 
Very cool. Unfortunately, we can't use them as a vanity item. Actually, we can. Except it doesn't look like we can actually see them. Oh, we can. But not under the tiki mask. They don't look that good, to be honest. Um, anyway, reflective shades combined with, I think, basically everything all at once. I think this is it. Uh, armor bracing, bandage, plan, counter curse, mantra. I think they're all in here. And we have Ank Charm. Grants immunity to most debuffs. And I, that still only combines with Obsidian Shield, which we have right here. So that grants immunity to most debuffs, knockback, fire blocks, and gives us four defense. Accumulation complete. Amazing. And we got plus 4% damage. I don't particularly want to re-roll that. So it's by offensive and defensive at the same time. A little bit. I don't need another metal detector. Um, I do need a whole lot of wire and a couple of teleporters and some of those nice, big, easy to see switches. And let's go make... Um, if I'm going to fight Duke Fishron again, I definitely don't want to be accidentally teleporting. So let's just put it over here a bit. Can we... No. Let's put it in here. Teleporter. I get some background wall in there so I can see. Not really. I need a workbench. This will do. Okay. I'm gonna put leather right about here. And we're going to get, uh, how about blue wire down this way? And let me just put on my lights. Uh, how about we redo some summons because... My hands are not going to be free. And we'll take this as far down as we possibly can. Oh wait. I'm going the wrong way. I just realized. Okay. Up we go. Find that hole. Down we go. I hope I brought enough wire to do this in one shot. Probably. Can I get through there? Uh, this is awkward. Okay, let's just... How do I change whether it's... There we go. Oh, God. could you stop for one second? Holy... Oh my... Very obnoxious. Uh, 
Uh, let's heal up a little bit. Uh, I've got a Shining Stone right here. By the time the potion cooldown wears off, we would have been at full health again. Freaking Rune Wizards. They're no threat at all if you're paying attention. But if you're trying to do something like this, they might just two-shot you. Down we go. And we're here. Teleporter. Lever. And... We now have a shortcut. Cool. And this time I actually have a little bit of room in my inventory. So what happens if I capture one of these? Material consumable. Um, curious. I don't know what happened to my magic mirror. Metal detector, toss it in. I thought we tossed things in here and they turn into their opposites or something. If I dive in myself, last time I fell through the world. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about this. We're just going to keep falling for a while. Could fall into lava if we were unlucky. Maybe. Uh, I'm going to have to burn... Well, no, I'm not. go back there. Ooh, Cursed Flame. I bet if we tossed Cursed Flame in there we get uh, the Crimson equivalent. I don't know, I've actually just heard bits and pieces of how this is supposed to work. I don't think I was able to, like, hover once I... Oh, I was. What? I should get a flipper and see if I can swim in this. Because I want to see if I can stay in it without um, falling out. Okay. Can we toss in Cursed Flame? I got an achievement when I accidentally dropped something in here. Uh, I don't know what it was. I could actually take a peek. Let's see. Torch God? Rare route? Uh, wait, here it is. Shimmer in the Dark. Shimmer an item into another item. What other transmutations can you find? Okay. I think that was when I accidentally um, uh, tried to pick up uh, tried to pick up a flailing or failing, and it fell into the shimmer, and it just kind of came back to life. I think. Yep. So that's what that does. It would be nice if we didn't have to deal with enemies while we're messing around with this. Do I have any blocks handy? Let's make a door. How much pearl wood do I have on me? Zero? As far as I can tell? Is it in the void bag from before? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, let's put some pearl wood over here. That'll do, I guess. Uh, 
You know what? Let's just burn a potion. I really want one of my spare magic mirrors back. Don't know where I've been keeping them. Don't know what happened to the other magic mirror. Please tell me I have been keeping spares. Or a spare at least. I was going to say, oh, we do have... That's the black spot. I was thinking of the necromantic scroll. Um... Up here? I've got an ice mirror. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's get some room in our inventory before we go back. I mean, we can get there easily enough, actually, and I've got the magic mirror now. Even so. Um, don't need all that wire. Uh, I kind of want to toss these things into the shimmer and see if anything happens. Rune hat? Rune robe? Oh yeah, I was trying to make a door. I wanted to go get a flipper and see if I could swim in it without falling. Where's our flipper? There's a menacing flipper. I think we've got a strictly better thing somewhere. Frog gear. I've actually got it on me. Whatever. Totally forgot. That's the wrong teleport. Alright, so... Frog gear? Can I swim? Nope, can't swim at all. Okay. Good to know. But I can uh, walk on it. I could probably get a bucket and or bottle of the shimmer. Let's get a bottle. Here it is. Glass. Some bottles, a uh, bucket. Where is bucket? Good question. Oh, here it is. Why do I keep doing that? Rubber band Rambo, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is that? Shimmer slime. Well, whatever it is, it wants to kill us. Um, if I take one little bump, I'm probably going to fall through all this. I should probably put the treasure magnet, like, here, instead. I need a peace candle over here. I, I really don't want to be fighting enemies while I try and figure this out.
And door, could you stop? Pretty please. Okay, pull the door. Let's put the workbench close to it so it blocks it unless they're going to break it. I don't really want to drop in our one magic quiver. Oh, we got two. In it goes. Uh, it would probably help if we didn't pick it up before it could possibly transform. I'm pretty sure it took a few seconds the first time. That doesn't seem to do anything. What if I put Pearlwood in? It becomes regular wood. What if I put wood in? It becomes dirt? If I put dirt in? Nothing? Um, can I put a soul in? I don't think I can. Because... I can't aim it down, and if we're in the shimmer, we fall through. I guess I could just try falling through and then doing this and then trying to come back. Maybe it would be a good idea to just dig back up so we don't have to teleport back. Or I could build another teleporter down here and we could pop straight back up that way. Either way. And let's make sure we can't fall through further on the other side. Diggy hole. Is this calamity? This is not calamity. Uh, Glacier Wolf draws. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Here to see you again, Glacier. I think draws as well. Probably been here before. Uh, I haven't been playing Calamity for a while. Not since the new patch. Because I wanted to check out this, this seed, among other things. Oh yeah, I wanted to show the failings to the guide. If I drop a banner in, I'm going to guess that's not going to do anything. Nothing. The fairy went... The fairy became a failing. Fascinating. Okay. Uh, can we steal some of it with a bucket? Doesn't look like it. Can we make a bottle of it? Failing in a bottle. That's not really what I'm looking for. Wait, how did we get a soul of night just now? Uh, maybe I should just dig directly under this. So that we could pick up anything that's on the bottom. Uh, if we can't reach it from above, we can reach it with a magnet from below. What is that moving through the water? There's something there. 
Was it one of my minions? It might be. Let's get some actual light in here. Okay. That's good enough to me. Ow, ow, ow. Rude. So now I should be able to jump into this and... Cool. We hardly fall at all. Uh, let's get some platforms over here. And see what else we can toss in here. For interesting results. Fuel hook is a wash. Gladiator stuff, probably not. Dare I throw in some bacon? Javelins? Nothing. Gladius? I need to turn off this magnet most of the time. If I had a spare mirror, I would definitely toss it in, but I'm kind of afraid of losing my last one. Uh, what about bombs? Nothing? Uh, regen potion? That did turn into something. It turned it into its components. Except that we didn't get the bottle back. Yep. Oh, we did get bottled water this time. So we don't get all of the components back. Interesting. What? Did, did money just turn into a soul, or did I see that wrong? Let's toss a gold coin in. It just disappears. Okay. Uh, bottled water? Turned into a bottle. How about an accessory? A cheap accessory. That we're willing to part with. Um... I want to go grab my most... Oh, the conchers, I think, can be exchanged for different types of conchers, probably. Uh, what else? Hallowed Torch? Became an Ether Torch? Uh, cool, I guess. How about we toss all of these in? Maybe it'll improve our luck here. Now that we have the biome torches. Not that we really need the help with the light. Where are the torches? How about an ice torch? We can... we can just buy another one of those. If it turns into something useless. Doesn't seem like that works. Uh, so if I drop through here, drop the souls. It doesn't work on souls. Definitely. 
dirt wall is probably not going to be anything special. It does turn into dirt block and wall. Uh, I think I tried the Wraith banner already. Yep. Dual hook we already tried, I think. GPS will probably turn into its component parts, but probably not necessarily all of them. Let's get this stuff back. What else should I try? We could make another void bag. It turned into its components. Whoops. So is it just like uncrafting things or or can we get some actual utility out of this? How many shadow scale do we need for this thing? Oh, it's raining. Uh, void bag, 30 shadow scale. So I need to kill the eater again. Uh, unless I didn't pick up the shadow scale. I don't know if we could see it from here. Uh... I think I probably tried bottle. It's probably just going to turn into glass. Let's get our sink back. Uh, what if we put in potion ingredients? I need to kill the Eater of Worlds again. Uh, Rotten Chunk... Plus... What? Or I could break the... The Orbs again. That's one way to do it. It's probably easier, honestly. Let's put off the Shimmer for a sec. Yep. One. I said one. I don't have a hammer. One. That's actually our second band of star power. And... Two. And a three. Take the adamantite. I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. Oh wow. I knew it would be easy, but uh, that exceeded expectations. <laughs> yeah. It's so much less dangerous than the common... Uh, common hard mode enemies. Or Eater of Wilds.
Alright, that should be everything. And we get the shadow scale. And I think we need bones. And jungle spores. We probably need a demon altar as well. Which we have over here. Fantastic. There's our void bag back. Ooh, we got a spare worm scarf. I kind of want to see uh, what that's going to do. If it turns into its uh, crimson counterpart, Green of Confusion, which is another way we get a random dodge, it came back to us. Oh, I want to show these to the guide as well. Uh, failing. It's only good for making a failing in a bottle. Bruh. It says it's consumable, though. I can't seem to find a way to consume... Oh, like that. Never mind. They're not going to create shimmer here, are they? They're just going to behave like critters? I imagine. I wouldn't actually want this spot to become shimmer. <laughs> yep, over here. I think the other one's gone. Alright. Teleport. And a teleport. And put the failings back in. And demonite ore. Doesn't do anything. Worm scarf. Doesn't do anything. Um. running out of ideas, honestly. Hmm. The only thing this is good for is mana regen band, and that's only good when we have gaps where we are not going to fire. So, try that. And we get nothing. Oh, that's a uh, hallowed. And that's a rune wizard. It's kind of hard to see this thing. Kind of very hard to see this thing. And it drops stuff into... Didn't seem to do anything into the shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna have a peek, see what the wiki says about this, because I could be here all day trying to guess what this does. The shimmer. Adhesive bandage makes bizarre. That's just a downgrade. Amber bunny makes amber. Ancient cobalt stuff makes jungle armor. 
Ancient Hallowed Gear becomes Hallowed. Ancient Shadow becomes Shadow. This doesn't seem... Blindfold becomes Pocket Mirror. That's like its opposite, right? So that does have some utility. Any Biome Torch becomes an Ether Torch. A Corruption Key becomes a Corruption Chest. That's cute. Uh... You could exchange discount card for lucky coin. Isn't discount... Doesn't that just mean it's a downgrade? It does. Fast clock trifold map. So some of the things that combine into other things, you can get their opposites. Um, but most of the time, it's just a downgrade or something some aesthetic thing that doesn't have any, like, gameplay value. If I had a spare high-test fishing line, I could turn it into an anglet earring. Lucky coin, gold ring. Oh, what the heck is an arcane crystal? Permanently increases mana regen. Yeah, okay. So we just need a mana crystal? Let's go. Let's -a go. Arcane crystal. And that's it. Uh, we're not going to actually see that as stats. I should have compared it, like, I should have thrown these out to see how long it would take first. Okay, that does seem to... wow. That seems like a permanent mana regen potion, almost. Uh, is there an equivalent for health? Uh, let's see. Uh, life crystal makes a vital crystal. Where's the nearest life crystal? There's one. On mobile, typing hard? I've seen it can make enemy walls, and that way you can make biomes. Dungeon walls turn into wall that make dungeon biome, for example. Indeed. Let's get our health upgrade or whatever this is going to be. Maybe health regen. Ouch. Vital crystal. Permanently boosts life regen. Nice. That's a nice little quality of life. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference against a boss, for example. But it's nice nonetheless. And I'm sure we can only do that once per player. Uh, anything else? Aegis Fruit. I think someone told me about this. Increases defense by four. We need we need a life fruit, which I think I've got a spare um, at home. Here it is. Whoops, what am I doing? The, the ice mirror confuses me somehow. <laughs> Okay, life fruit, get in there. And... 53 defense. 57. It's like having a warding accessory at all times. 
uh, indefinitely. What else have we got? Living Woodwand becomes Finch Staff? Don't tell me Finch Staff is one of those weird OP weapons on this seed. That would be pretty funny. Doesn't look like it. Magma Stone becomes Lava Charm? That's pretty good. Mushroom Grass Seeds and Jungle Grass Seeds. Mithril Palladium, and so on. Uh, the list is quite long, but I think we probably already got the ones that really count. Ranger Emblem becomes Sorcerer Emblem. Uh, anything else? Sorcerer becomes Summoner. Summoner becomes Warrior. Warrior becomes Ranger. Hell yes. Uh, our three or four spare emblems that we have, that we're all summoner, can actually become one of each class. Uh, we've got summoner and mage. Did I not have ranger already? I guess not. I thought I had Ranger already. Oh, there it is. We can maybe have a Menacing and... Uh... Warding. Okay. Summon Emblem, get out of here. Summon Emblem, get out of here. I'll keep one Warrior. And we'll make a Spare Ranger. And try and re-roll that. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, anything else? Water bucket, lava bucket... Weather Radio Fisherman's Pocket Guide. So if I end up with any spares for the things that make the cell phone, we can probably swap them. What the heck is a gas trap? Whoopee Cushion turns into... Releases poisonous gas when a container it is in is opened. Yikes. Uh, Clentaminator becomes the Terraformer. Requires Moonlord to be defeated. We can't get the Clentaminator on this, uh, on this world, though. Rod of Discord becomes Rod of Harmony. It's a direct upgrade. Does not inflict the Chaos State debuff? You can just teleport spam as much as you like? Um, wow. Wow. But you have to have beaten the game already. So it sort of doesn't count. Oh, permanent upgrades. Here we go. We've done crystal, crystal, fruit. Any fruit becomes ambrosia, which gives us... Uh, mining and tile wall placement speed by 5%. Not gonna lie, I'm not as excited about that one. Gold Worm becomes Gummy Worm. I haven't seen a Gold Worm this playthrough. Increases Fishing Power by 3. Alright, that's not as heartbreaking as it might have been. Uh, Galaxy Pearl? I need a Pink Pearl. I've got a Black Pearl, I think. Can I exchange it? Doesn't look like it. We, we literally just need a pink pearl. Peddler's hat becomes Peddler's satchel? What is this? Permanently increases... The number of items sold at any time by the traveling merchant. Uh, how do we get the hat? Does he have to die? Yes, he does. 
We have to kill the merchant and throw his hat in here. Spell Tome? Advanced Combat Techniques Volume 2. Lamau? Uh... It can only be used once per while. Oh, the town NPCs get stronger. That's not as exciting. Okay, so we want... Uh, we've pretty much done all the ones that matter, that we can, uh, that we can get. Sparkle, Slime Balloon, Diva Slime. What's that? Oh, these items cycle, so it's not just the emblems. So if we get three items that make the, if we get any three items out of the ones that combine for the fishing stuff that's going to help NPCs transmute mostly into skeletons or shimmer slimes or failings that's kind of cool there's ore downgrades luminite becomes chlorophyte Bruh. Okay, there's a lot there, but I think we've done uh, the stuff that matters. Alright, cool. Sparkle Slime Balloon Diva Slime. What is a Diva Slime? Let's uh, re-roll the spare ranger emblem. Get some menacing for the fights where we really just want to kill the boss as fast as possible. And I haven't actually used this horseshoe balloon. Let's put that over there. I'll use mage damage for walking around. And this for when we're serious. Diva Slime is a town NPC. Oh, right. Alright, cool. Um, let's put our accessories somewhere. Didn't I have a... here it is. This is one of the few pets that don't somehow confuse me. Make me think it's an enemy. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to the horseshoe balloon. Not really worried about holding on to a bucket. Uh... Is our prone hammer in here? It is not. Band of star power goes in here. Horseshoe balloon. Um, can probably go in here. Ooh, what did we get? Frost stuff. Too bad. Not too excited about it either. Alright, what should we be hitting up next? Uh, I can't think of anything left to do except the pillars and the moon lord. I'm kind of terrified of the pillars, to be honest. Uh, especially since I don't have, and I'm not going to have, Soaring Insignia. Because where the hell are we going to fight Empress of Light on this seed? Unless I could summon her here, teleport here, and, and fight her up this way. It would be 
extra difficult though, even if that works. Um, as long as we don't kill all four of the pillars, we can always... We can always keep the last one spare to start the Moon Lord fight. So, why don't we do some pillars and get some Ranger and Mage gear, perhaps? Oh, I should have brought more buffs. Well, it's on now. Where is he? Should have brought homing bullets for this fight as well. Super unprepared. Let's use mage. That'll clap the uh, worm thing as well. That thing. Should have brought a grab potion. This was really dumb. Can I escape this fight? Getting my shortcut key, I changed it on the other version for mana potion. Well, oh wow, I've killed like 20% of him, if that. This is not going well. Got plenty of mana potions still. That thing is barely taking damage. I think we can pull it off though. Then again, doesn't he get more powerful? thing. Okay. Yeah, can I, can I leave? Because I'd really like to come back with better preparation. Alright, that's nowhere near enough flight to deal with him properly. Chlorophyte bullets would be a good idea. I don't have a good gun weapon, though. Uh, I guess we have the Mega Shark. If every bullet's gonna hit, Mega Shark should be enough. Um, I can't remember if I actually made the Mega Shark. I think we probably have to kill the Destroyer one more time. Yeah, I don't... Oh, uh, we do have the flamethrower. That's something. That's that's going to be good against the destroyer. I could also try the star cannon, but it's still probably garbage. The hard mode. Alright. Destroyer souls. We've got, like... Nine... Pretty sure we need like 15 or something. Mega Shark. We need 20. We also need five shark fins. That was why we didn't make the Mega Shark. There's like no way to get shark fins on this planet. 
Um, unless the Shimmer has anything to say about it. Nope. I've seen like two sharks this entire playthrough. Um, we need four more fins, and I don't even know where to go to try and make the sharks spawn. I need this to be regular sand, not corruption sand, I think. I don't think I've seen a single shark at the ocean, actually. I've just seen them very rarely, randomly, underground. I think I saw one over here. Yeah, it was this little pool here when we were fishing in the hallow. So long story short, it's probably not really realistic to farm up a mega shark and we're better off going for the tactical shotgun which is just a random drop from tactical skeleton shouldn't be too hard to get oh wow that flamethrower though that's actually amazing Keeps them back as well. I'm gonna play it safe here. Or try to. Have you seen Bone Biter? I did not. What is a Bone Biter? I'm pretty sure if we can see Paladins, uh, we can see Tax Skeletons and Snipers. But they don't show up very often. Flamethrower is actually incredible. Bear in mind that I'm playing this... I'm using the flamethrower off-class right now. It might become one of my favorite weapons. It's especially good in the dungeon where you have to worry about the ectoplasms randomly spawning where enemies die and multiple enemies stacking themselves on top of each other. The control though, the knockback. They just slowly descend in a fire tornado. Lord, yeah. Tiny what? Tiny katana? Okay. The bone biter drop the shark fin sometimes. They do? Where are they? I could also try for the Uzi, but that's like very luck based. Something like a 1 or 2% chance from, uh, I think it's 1 in 50. Yeah, 2% chance from Angry Trappers. Ow. I haven't seen a single tactical skeleton here, though. Maybe we do have to go deeper.
Corrupted Desert. Okay. Oh, are those the ones that only appear during a sandstorm? I don't know if we can even get sandstorms on this map or not. Ow. Didn't even see what that was. Uh, this is awkward. Yeah, I think we need to go deeper. Let's try. Oh, that's a Bone Lee in front, and the flamethrower's controlling him that hard. Strong. Uh, let's just dig through here. And we go. Up we go. Plenty of ectoplasm, at least. Take that away. Get out of here, Bonely. I'm only interested in tax skeletons right now. Hunter potion. What is that? Oh, it's a soul. Fair enough. Is that attack? It's a skeleton sniper. We can find skeleton snipers, we can find tax skeletons. There's one. Good luck. We got a sniper rifle at least. Although it's honestly generally too clunky and slow to bother with. Even with homing bullets. Get rid of those spikes. And... What would be the safest place to try and farm these things, I wonder? Probably on top of water. Uh, if we have... The water walking boots, that is. Because we don't have direct line of sight. Could the water stop bobbing like that? Oh, wait. Hold on. I was in the wrong... There we go. Uh, we don't have line of sight here or here, so we don't get sniped. And the enemies fall right past us if there end up being too many of them. Uh, the ground ones. Uh, the spawn rate here doesn't seem very good. What the hell? Okay, that's the that's exactly what I didn't want to do. Could we just dig this away neatly? Okay, if we go down there, we get some spawns. Good to know. Where the hell is this spike? Oh. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do.
Good job, minions. A little bit less water would maybe be good here. I kind of want to put those bricks back. Otherwise it's going to bug me. Those are not the same... Yes, they are. Same bricks. That was a tax skeleton, I think, but we didn't get our drop. Let's see. Uh, I thought that was a banner. Yeah, we don't have it yet. Lethargic rocket launcher. I think that last one I killed was actually just an armored bones when I thought it was a... That's a sniper. No, it's not. I want to get far away to make this uh, spinning spiky ball thing despawn. Need the jungle key as well. Oh, and a free water candle. Fantastic. I don't remember digging through here. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, poor Bone Lee. Didn't even get close. Coffee. Where's the coffee? Medium improvements. Why not? That's attack skeleton. Give me your weapon. Yes! That's what we came here for. Uh, so I need to make a little bit of room in the all inventory. pick up this stuff as well. Uh, that is a banner. Do we have any more? I don't care about selling these. Just give me the, the weapon. Ooh! I believe I saw the words Unreal Tactical Shotgun. Yep. Literally as good as it gets. Okay. Let's gear up to absolutely clap that poor summoner thing. Summoner mage thing, whatever he is. Uh, we're going to need some chlorophyte bullets. I think we need to farm some chlorophyte for that. That's not going to take long. Give me some mud. Don't take it all so it grows back. get like five five or makes 60 well I, I, I the stack sizes are huge now so I, I honestly just want to make as much as possible so that I don't have to think about it and worry about it running out um, but that's 600 bullets right there it should already be more than enough
we've got a little bit more over here. So that should be like almost 1300 bullets. Need to buy some musket balls. And we combine with the chlorophyte bars. 1320 bullets. That's probably enough for the one boss fight. Especially since uh, I believe it's like 7 times 51 range damage that comes out, or maybe 6. Like, we get several shots per bullet with this. Alright, ranger gear on. Give me back those terrace buff boots. And... I think this is fine. Alright. Sell those katanas. 217 melee damage on this. Seems good. Honey goes here. Don't care about the coffee. I do kind of care about the toxic up. It's one of my favorites. Even if we stop using it at this point. And I don't see myself running out of ammo, but there's no point in not taking this with us. Do I have any minions that multi-hit segmented enemies? I don't think so. Okay. Up we go. And we try again. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I need more potions to be prepared. Especially flight, which is to say grav potions. Um, Hunter might not be the worst idea. Archery definitely for when... When I use Tsunami. If he's sitting still... In range, I can do a lot more damage with this. Uh, sometimes. Flamethrower is also good. Uh, Life Force Potion, definitely. Armor, damage. Uh, I might skip the archery. We've got plenty. Thorns isn't going to do much. Um, magic power? I don't know. I don't think the Razor Blade Typhoon was dealing that much damage to the worm. I could use the Aqua Scepter or the Flamethrower for that. Flamethrower is going to be a bit more responsive, and we're on range damage right now. Uh, I could definitely go for a Calming Potion. Which apparently I don't have. Heart reach I don't think helps. There's never any hearts to pick up for this fight. Oh, couldn't hurt. Get some magic power and stuff. There's, we've got plenty of spares for these. And then... Let's get rid of the light pet. It's going to distract me. What was the other thing? That I was considering? Oh yeah, calming potion. We might need... I think it's damselfish for those. 
We need to fish from the sky, and I don't really want to bother. But I'll definitely do... You know what? I should do that before we get the pillars coming at us. Because calming potion there kind of makes a pretty big difference. Uh, so we need to do some sky fishing. Best place to do that? Probably here. We can get there easily. Should probably go with summoner gear. Whoops. Three and three? That's probably pretty good, actually. Alright. So we'll do a little fishing without our fishing gear on because we would die. Uh, fishing potion, sonar potion. I don't think we've got anything to gain from getting crates up there at this stage. Uh, thorns wouldn't make that much difference. Okay. Up we go. Love that lighting. That's a turtle. Don't want to deal with that. That's a worm. I should definitely be chugging the hunter potion up here. Sky worms. They're a pain. Alright, hunter potion. Should have brought a water walking potion. Actually, I probably have those. I do. Nice. Uh, and we fish. And we dodge. And we fishing potion. And we put some deeps on the worm because it takes too much to kill. And let's do some basic defenses and stuff as well. I think we've got a million... Yeah, we've got wrath potions. Let's take those. Okay. Now we attempt to fish despite the distractions. Don't tell me I auto-stacked my bait. Let me down, I don't want to go to space. It's a little bit alarming how often the Martian event tries to start as well. Damselfish, that's exactly what we're looking for. Interested in bass right now. Or ever, actually. Don't get detected by that. We don't want to deal with the Martians. At least not right now. I haven't done the Halloween or Frost Moon yet either. There's some good drops from those. Oh! I actually dodged it. Nice. So far I've only got one damselfish. I definitely want at least five, preferably ten, uh, so that we can have reduced... God damn it, that didn't get fished up. Reduced monster spawn rate. Um, for all of the pillars. Probably a good idea to use it for the scary events as well. Which is really just to say the Martian Madness event, if we accidentally start it.
every 12 seconds there's a Martian probe. Damsel fish. Don't know how many we've got, and I don't really have time to check. Sometimes we get potions from the crates. Good job, minions. I really wish we had that ultimate fishing accessory. See what hit me. Probably a feather. And we get another damsel fish. Apparently not. it just randomly fantastic how many do we have six not too bad fish Come on, one more at least. Oh, that was maybe a bad idea. Hellwood crate, I'll take. Damsel fish, we missed it. Every time it's a damsel fish. Like, those are the only ones we fail to pull in. One of the good things about this combination of minions is... That's a harpy banner. Uh, the tornadoes... I missed that one, that was my fault. Uh, the tornadoes chase enemies, and the sanguine bats don't. So we've got good coverage. Nope. Do not... Do not start the Martian Madness event. Not a fan of that. Maybe after we kill three of the pillars. Dash didn't trigger. actually mostly a really good spot for Martian probes to just bounce away somewhere else and not find us. 
and or we just have a really good angle to avoid them. I'm literally just waiting for one more damselfish. I said that like five minutes ago. Now our Sona Potion ran out. I guess I'll just give up for now. Alright, maybe we'll get lucky with... the crafting rolls. We get... eight calming potions. That's not too bad. Where's my void bag? Oh, it's right here. Then, in that case, where's my mirror? How did it get in the void bag? Alright, let's quick stack all this stuff. Sell, etc. Put away the sniper rifle. Um, my bags are really full right now. So, the Vela. Uh, you know what? As powerful as this is, I might stick to the flamethrower, because I, I never find myself using the Aqua Scepter. Not at a, like, reflex. Okay. Can we make another black belt? I mean, Master Ninja Gear? I think so, yes. Fantastic. Let's just put it here. And these can stay in here for now. Sell the millionth rune robe. Sell this crap. Don't really care about another worm skull. Dragon fruit. I forgot to make the fruit thing. Not that it does anything combat useful. Uh, let's go do that. Back at the shimmer. Any kind of fruit at all into the shimmer. And I didn't toss it far enough. There we go. We get Ambrosia. Permanently increases mining and building speed by the tiniest of margins. I wonder what happens if I put a chest in there. Probably nothing. I didn't see a chest show up in the list. It's a nothing. Alright. We got our shotgun. We got our homing bullets. We got our calming potions for later. Let's go kill... Uh, what's it called again? The Lunatic Cultist. Well, I think they're all called Cultists, and it's the Fanatic that we're killing, or something. I'm too lazy to clean up this inventory right now. Let's a go. What? What? Um, is it busted? I 
think it's busted. Unless the cultists are down here or something, we probably have to wait for the next day. It's currently 5.45 p.m. Oh, there, he there they are! How did you get down here? There we go. Alright. All of the buffs. Homing bullets. And we use grab potions for flying. But we don't go too high. Ow. I'd really rather have the accuracy of... Uh, the Mega Shark, but oh well. Oh, those things curve. Nope, let me fall. Holy crap, I'm messing this up already. Well, normally... Normally I'm not doing this one with grab potions. A bit easier. Also, this guy has a lot more health than I'm used to. I feel like either they buffed him. Either they buffed him a lot. Or this seed is special. It wasn't just that I didn't have, like, hard DPS ranger gear. When I was fighting him before with the Razor Blade Typhoon, he really is just much tougher. I don't know if uh, homing bullets are going to help us with this. Hopefully, we can make another attempt before our potions wear off. Doesn't look like it. You know, this isn't as powerful as I thought it would be. Maybe I should just go full mage. That would mean we have the best DPS against the worm section. And we have a precise homing missile. Okay. Let's gear that up. I think my mage gear is in here. Uh, but that said, it might be worth... It's probably worth making the spectra armor. More than probably. I think that is worth making, uh, as opposed to Hallowed with Ranger. Where's the safe? There we go. So for Spectra gear, I need lots of Ectoplasm, which I've got. Uh, I also need lots of Chlorophyte, which I spent. Let's go get some more. Where is it? I'm looking for the mud. Oh, I wasted calming potion as well for that. So I didn't realize I still had it. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to not have those corrupt enemies spawning while I'm trying to fight that thing.
think we need like 50 or 60 bars. So like 300 ore probably. We can get some more from the jungle if necessary. Looks like this hasn't grown at all. Let's see how much we need. Uh, and my inventory is full. We got 14 spectra bars. How did I break that? Just now. I have replaced it with mud. Whoops. Uh, one bar makes two, though. That's a small mercy. So we need... 12 plus 24, 36 plus 18, uh, 54 spectra bars. That's 26 times 5. About 125 or so. Chlorophyte. That's not too difficult. Maybe I should make a door here. Leave a little chlorophyte for next time. I'm not going to make a path up that way to our fishing spot. another 77. That should probably be enough. Thirty. That's nowhere close, actually. It's like three-fifths of what we're looking for. And my potion has run out. Fight, please. Uh, should we try the corrupted desert for those sharks? We'd need to get there when there's a sandstorm. That's pretty much never happening. I think it's, uh, it doesn't matter if it's corrupted, hallowed, or n neutral. You can get the, uh, shark fins that way. It's like eight more bars, it's not enough. Wait, 16 more spectra bars though, right? Nope. Something is wrong with my math. How do I not have a slot for calming potions? Let's put them in here. Can't put that there as a vanity item. Just put it in the safe. Oh, there we go. Uh, screw it. Spelunker Potion. There's actually chlorophyte everywhere. Crimson, hallowed, or corrupted. Indeed. But we need a sandstorm first. Is the main trouble. Uh, 
Let's get another 100 chlorophyte ore. Chlorophyte bars, plenty of ectoplasm. Oh, it's actually two becomes two, so it wasn't half like I thought, and that should be enough for the set. A uh, spectra hood is really good if it's multiplayer, I think, but this time we're just gonna go with the spectra mask for the DPS. As opposed to healing ourselves and teammates, but dealing way less damage. Uh, let's make another mannequin to hold on to... Oh, we actually did already. Hallowed gear can go here. And we put on the spectra gear. We have more defense and more DPS. We just don't take free hits. Um, 175 magic damage razor blade typhoon. That's not bad. All right. Let's try again, shall we? Oh, we've still got 12 minutes of exquisitely stuffed. And the minions got me shot in the back when I wasn't ready. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, up we go. Keep our distance this time. And spam homing missiles in the general direction. Oh wow, he's dying fast this time. Uh, maybe I underestimated the DPS value of the armor upgrade. Dragon down. I don't care if it doesn't do as much damage at the specific moment that he's in my sights. This is much more consistent and I can focus on defense. Not to mention everything else. As up portal from our failure before. Whoop, that wasn't where I wanted to go. I can heal in five seconds. Okay. Focus. The fact that the uh, little homing missiles, whenever I deal magic damage that come out of the enemy, my homing missiles are shooting down his homing missiles and then they're spawning little homing missiles to go after him. Very handy. Almost done. Lost sight of him. Ow. 
That's rude. just yet. I've run out of grab potion and I don't want to waste another one. It's less than a thousand hit points to go. There we go. And we have pillars and we have the worst pillar right next to us. Um, can we at least get to where we teleport? Before activating the uh, solar pillar? Looks like the answer's yes. Fantastic. What the heck is the golfer doing here? Um, I really don't know. You, you're alright, mate. I hear... solar pillar music. I don't like solar pillar music, or what it represents. Let's take a calming potion, and take our sweet time crawling towards this. Oh wow. Okay, bad timing. Really bad timing. Okay. Oh, I do not like the solar pillar. This is actually an incredibly awkward spot for it to start as well. Then again, uh, some of the enemy has an awkward time getting to us. Normally I have Soaring Insignia and I stay in the air despite the threat of the Crawlipedes. Um, and if we have Soaring Insignia and react to them well, we can actually get away from them faster than they can chase us. Um, but I don't have that this time. I'm not messing around. This... these pillars... this one in particular is OP. And... all I need to do is kill X number of the types of enemies that spawn here. I'm not going to give them extra... I'm not going to make it easy for them to kill me. We still have to worry about the random insta-kill falling stars. Looks like Draken... Drakenmires can't get at us through the walls. And we've got an unusually large number of them spawned over here. one way to do it. Crawlipede is a pretty high priority target. We can't move through the air safely as long as that exists. Now this terrain might not be that bad, actually. It depends on the scrollers coming through the surface here, not catching us at the perfect time while other enemies are coming up on us. If I keep these guys here, it means we have fewer enemies spawning at different angles. I guess with our Calming Potion in particular, everything that could possibly spawn at once might end up on the left.
I should probably get some auto mana consumption going with this build. But on second thought, if I don't, it's kind of like a free accessory slot, almost. If I just learn to live without it. We do get slightly less DPS against a boss without the auto mana consumption, because a reduction in mana cost uh, means mana potion sickness less often, and that costs us DPS. I thought these guys could go through walls. Actually, 24 enemies to go, I think. Is that how that works? Looks like it. Oh, that's, 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 that's not exactly fair. I was going to port home, but actually it's not as bad as I thought. Poor golfer. Oh my goodness. I was looking out for the, uh, the solar enemies. I didn't see that one coming. Three to go, two to go, one to go, and 20,000 hit points on the solar pillar itself. Probably got a better spell to use for this than Razorblade Typhoon, but it's getting the job done. Fantastic. One last one of these dead. Fantastic. Ouch. Suddenly it's a lot harder to see. Please give me the solar fragments. Fantastic. Um, so I want to get probably... I'm only going to have a minute after I kill the, th the last one of these before the Moon Lord shows up. And I definitely want to have um, time to set things up with my preferred class. I think we'll do Vortex next so we can have a good gun. And I think I'll probably... I'll probably use Ranger against Moon Lord. Try and get it done fast. That minimizes the extra threat from playing on this seed. Uh, Nebula's gonna be the most dangerous. 
So I think I'll knock that out second last. So yeah, we'll go in order from left to right. Uh, even if we're going to do some other stuff before Moonlord, I definitely want to knock these two out right now. Oh, we have a World Feeder banner. That's good. Uh, if we don't already have it, please put that right about here. Fantastic. Doop 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 doop. Where's my calming potion? Let's get ourselves a moment to get this sorted out. There we go. there. It's at the big tree. That might make things a bit more interesting. Okay. Should have brought a Featherfall potion, actually. This. I've seen someone else fighting these things since the new patch. Uh, the shotgunning ones actually do aim up and down. Or maybe that's a mod. Either way, I'm going to be a bit more careful. This looks like a good spot. Yep, they do aim at an angle now. You can't just stay above or below them. This is much easier, safer than the solar pillar. This is probably the second easiest one, depending on how you go about it. You can do the stardust pillar by cheesing it, making the uh, the weakest enemies that replicate like crazy take up the entire order for how many enemies can be spawned at once, because they reproduce whenever they take some damage. This regen really is super strong, the mana regen. We got a banner. 
Careful of those queens. And we get there. Don't die to the star. Fantastic. Oh, there's 207 hit points left. I don't want to use another grab potion. There we go. You are overwhelmed with pain. Okay. Do we get anything for killing these guys? Other than relative safety? I don't think so. should have an ancient manipulator from killing the cultist. Did we get his goodie bag? Is there a goodie bag to be got from him? I don't think there is. It would be on the map if there were. Okay. Ancient manipulator. Uh... Can we make both Phantasm and Vortex Beater? We've got 69 Vortex Fragments. Nice. Shoddy Phantasm. Quick Vortex Beater. Alright. That's going to replace our Tactical Shotgun immediately. Uh, I could also make a monolith to change the background. Just, I could actually use this to make things easier to see up there. If I really wanted to. Um, there's also daybreak solar eruption. Don't really care right now. We can't get armor out of this stuff until we kill Moonlord. So just the two weapons is as good as it gets per class. And let's re-roll. Hopefully we don't spend all of our money. 20 gold. More than 20 gold per re-roll on average. Probably. Unpleasant. I thought it was unreal. Much tease. Deadly is decent. Should I keep that as a backup in case I waste all my money? Why not? I think we'd have to kill the Moon Lord twice um, to get our armor set regardless. Don't really care about post Moon Lord anyway. So let's make one more Vortex Beater. Unpleasant, again. Weak, awkward, annoying, staunch, zealous, nasty, superior, nimble, agile. That's the end of our money. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I did make this backup one. Deadly is like two-thirds of an unreal, basically, in terms of the stat boosts. It's not too bad. And Phantasm is actually a monster. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's stronger than Tsunami. Asterisk. But for the things that I bother to pull a bow out on, it's definitely better than Tsunami. It just takes a little while to get its DPS going. 
Um, I need a bunch of money to re-roll it, though. Let's put away the shotgun and the spare repeater, or beater, rather. I should make a new chest for all that fancy stuff. Normally I make it out of Martian things. Let's do marble blocks. Can I make a chest already? I think I need iron. Marble chair. What's a good money-making method? Pirate invasions? They're not bad, definitely. Marble chest needs two iron bars and a workbench. Good grief, that's a lot to craft. Okay. So, fancy endgame stuff can go over here, I guess. Soul a fragment. Sell this crap. And... So, we've done the pirate invasion. It wasn't all that. Might be good to get the money, though. It'll be a good warm-up for the more serious events. Currently using magic gear. I think that's probably fine. stack that away and all of this I'm willing to spend uh, to make sure the pirate invasion goes smoothly are they coming approaching from the east Okay. Pirates are approaching from the east. Oh, and here they are. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard with our mage gear. where some of them can drop into lava. Oh, I forgot about the uh, pirate captain's ghost. I need to be a bit more careful. Let's use our buffs. I forgot about that. That would probably help. just not fuck around with the pirate captain. I guess I should probably use the uh, Shroomite armor for the damage after all. Keeping it short is actually a really huge part of what makes the Moon Lord fight doable. Oh, here we go.
Oh yeah, I forgot this spot. <laughs> this poor flying Dutchman can't do anything. Now if I could just get my uh, razor blade typhoons to actually go over there. That's a bit more effective. Ow, ow, stop it. We don't need to cheese it with DPS like this. Oh, but that's the end of the invasion. Okay, how did we do for gold? We had practically zero. Sell all the gaudy stuff. Probably make sure we have pirate banners here. Don't need a second black spot. And very roughly we have about... Uh, 1.7 plat. That's not bad. Such a short time. What happens if I try fishing in the Shimmer? Does it summon the worst boss? Well, while we're waiting, let's try uh, re-rolling that spare vortex. Oh, and the phantasm first. Shoddy's going to be a cheap reroll. I can't actually teleport. Dagnabbit. These pirates are interfering. you guys drop some hearts so I can be cheap about my healing potions, please? Nope. Guess not. Halfway there. Didn't take very long. Lucky coin. Nice. Uh, that's one of three pieces, I think. Uh, the discount card. Or whatever it all upgrades into. Almost done on the second invasion.
Fantastic. And a mimic, for good measure. Wand of Sparking, again. One more pirate captain, with nothing else to threaten us. Delicious. Let's put that banner up. Can I sort and find all the banners? Apparently not. Pirate deckhand banner. Oh, it's up here. Okay. I didn't mean to place those two, but whatever. Not particularly fussed. Alright, let's sell all of this crap. Crossbow banner, Corsair banner, I think we already had that one. Jedi banner. Apparently golden platforms don't sell for anything. Hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins, <laughs> lol. I'm not actually going to bother with that. Parrot banner. The Dutchman? Is that a minecart? It is too. Cute. Kind of like this one better though. Uh, how much money do we have now? Approximately... Wow, four point something plat. That's pretty good. Let's try re-rolling. Uh, first the Phantasm, which absolutely deleted, even though it was shoddy. Can we get... Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to say, can we get a good roll on this? Pretty much all of them were garbage, and then we just got Unreal on, like, the sixth try. Uh, and then let's try... Three plat left. Can we get Unreal? What? Oh, okay. RNG is clumpy. Confirmed. Double Unreal twice in a row. Uh, won't be needing this other one then. And I kind of want to see what the Dutchman looks like. Before I sell that. Okay, you know what? That... The little flag at the back... I'm sold. That's... That's adorable. It looks like a children's toy. Um, let's put the platforms away somewhere. Oh, the gaudy chest. I forgot. I could sell some of these things for more money as well. But who cares? We got Unreal on both of our ranged items. Alright, let's try the Shroomite armor a bit more. Um, Spectre gear over here. And Shroomite. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking bullets. If I'm not going to carry extra helmets to swap all the time. Alright, so we're a ranger now. What was I going to use ranger on? Uh, 
Uh, probably the pirates as like a test. And we'll also have some money after that. Approaching once more from the west. Uh, and I just realized I won't be able to pile on. I kind of want to show the guide this coin right now. But it's not happening for a minute. We'll need to make some more chlorophyte bullets if we're going to be using them. Let's do that while we wait. Some more over here. Oh, here they come. That's pretty effective. How about we try the ammo that we can just buy, instead of having to farm. Even without bow spec, uh, it shreds pretty damn quick. Enjoy the gun that we just worked for. Basically, the bow is going to be for when there's only one section left on the Moon Lord. Or when we can't trust our homing bullets to pick the right target. Better to use razor blade on this. Oh, we're dying. Let's not let's not die. Actually. Holy arrows would be rather effective on the Dutchman. Anything that pierces. Shouldn't try that little maneuver. I'll just say I did it for science. Pirates have been defeated. I hardly feel like I started to fight them. How badly do I want anything from the other events? There's the Xeno Popper. I don't know if it compares to the Vortex Beater, to be honest. Nah, uh, I think I think we'll just skip those extra events and try going for Moon Lord this time. Uh, but how much ammo do I have? One thousand. I had like 1300 before, right? Uh, where did I put my regular bullets for crafting? Uh, 
Well, I guess we'll just buy some more. It's like a third of a gold for a whole stack. Let me see where it goes, actually. Oh! There was so much, I couldn't see where it went. Oh no. Uh, how about... Buy one bullet? Quick stack. That's where it went. Okay, that's most of a stack. That's a whole stack. Give me those chlorophyte bars. That's only 6 by 60. Uh, but yeah, I think that little bit of farming was more than enough to spam the homing bullets for the whole the whole pirate invasion. Let's go do the nebula pillar. But first... First let's make sure we have sufficient buffs to do it properly. We can make these easily. Um, I think Featherfall might not be the worst idea. And then... Uh, Calming Potion is the big one. We've got damage. Uh, I really should farm for more damage reduction potions, but I think I'll put it off until it's Moon Lord time. Hunter potions, don't need for the pillar, we can see very well. And that should be fine. Here we go. It's quite a trek, actually. Maybe I should have started from the right side of the map. It's about the same now. Let's keep the mini map on so we can see. at where the last pillar was. And that soul, why not? Getting a bit high. Almost a thousand, that's a, a little bit sketchy. Alright, it's pretty flat from here, and we're about to reach uh, one of the two most dangerous nebulas. Just because of one enemy in particular. I forget what it's called, but it's uh, it has a habit of teleporting directly behind you, and two-shotting you with projectiles that move very fast which it fires without hesitation right after teleporting behind you. That's the one. And we're almost dead. That's it. We gotta back off. Found another... Sky Island, though. These harpies are dealing one damage to us. 
Oh yeah, I have to hold down to fall at the right speed, I forgot. take a life force potion as well while we're at it. And I took damage. Lovely. take quite a bit of ammo and are easy to aim at, so I think I'll try sticking to the bow. Oh, there's two of them. That's not what I want to see. fifth of the way through. It might have slowed down those projectiles. Am I, like, not able to jump properly? What's going on? homing bullets there. I feel like I've got more time to get out of the way of the projectiles. And I remembered. Not to say it's easy. Seems like they can be suppressed to some extent by the bullets. So the homing bullets are really, really, really good in that respect. Thirty to go. Let's try moving closer to the actual pillar. Careful of those projectiles, half of our health gone, just like that. Oh, that's a star.
works quite well. 15 to go. Uh, did I forget my calming potions? No, nope, we're good. I don't have a grab potion right now. It's only two enemies left. I don't really want to use it. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe I should flee. I should flee. What the... I definitely portaled. The nanosecond I clicked portal, I think it killed me because it was still on me or something. ammo do we have left? Still over a thousand? I wish I at least got a portal up so I could go back. Very frustrate. Alright, let's get all of our buffs back. A couple of minions. And let's start from the right side this time. Slime mount jump is a lot more powerful when we've got a double jump. I'm going to have to fly past the Stardust Pillar on the way. Let's just start using our grab potions already. Which I probably would have been fine if I hadn't hesitated to use earlier. Okay, okay, alright. Almost dead already. Literally just came here to assassinate this pillar thing. Can't even see where it is though. There we go. This time we live. Let's get a shiny stone working. go. Grab the mage gear stuff. Although I'm way more excited about uh, the mage armor set from Nebula Fragments than I am the weapons, to be honest. And we can't actually get the armor set until post the last boss of the game, so it doesn't really count. But what we can do is make a rather inaccurate spammy homing missile. 
Um, lots of deeps, although I think Razor Blade Typhoon is still better. Um, all of these can only hit once. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot less efficient in a lot of ways. Nebula Arcanum um, can also cut through groups of enemies like crazy. Uh, but I always found it a bit awkward. Uh, but yeah, that's the mage stuff. Let's put it in here. We'll also be able to make some super duper healing potions uh, before the final boss. In fact, I should probably do that now. Is what I would say if I had the final types of fragment. I can convert these, but it's inefficient. The weapons are kind of weird, yeah. The ranger... The melee ones seem pretty good to me, although I don't generally play melee that much. Uh, the ranger ones are great. The summons are great. And... The mage weapons? Not so much. But we already have some great mage stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to double check. Lucky coin. Uh, requires gold ring. Combines to the coin ring. I think it was... Uh... Let's see. What was the other thing I was going to do in the shimmer? Try fishing it. Let's uh, go. Uh, so the lucky coin and the other thing that it combines with can get swapped here. Now we have a gold ring. I wonder if this will punish us horribly if we try to fish here. What? Did that just happen? The way I thought it did? Yep. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of an amusing way to say no, you don't. Also, I guess it could theoretically have some utility. Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, I guess this is the part where we do a little fishing. Uh, though, because we need Armored Cave Fish, number one, to slightly increase our chances of beating the Moon Lord. Where am I going? So we get that 10% uh, damage reduction. Hey, there's one. Actually, why don't I check if there's a fishing quest, as long as we're doing it anyway. Caught in caverns. That probably would have worked where I already was. If not... Cavern. If, if not here, then up the forest where we just were. Prismite. That's nice. We've got enough of those for the moment, though. No, no, I missed it. Cross you camera mode. I was trying to check my fishing power. There it is, 74. This is a bit slow, actually. 
Let's do something about that. And we can see which fish we might want to skip. I'll take a specular fish. Do you need four in a row, apparently? Probably got 600 million specular fish by now, actually. I'm literally just looking for like five armored cave fish. Whoops. Calming potion is working overtime. Chaos fish. Another chaos fish. Armored cave fish. God damn it. Armored cave fish is what we need. Just a few to get through the boss fight. The very first thing we fished up here was an armored cave fish. But we're not getting it now. Actually, I may as well fish in what I think is going to be the biome we need to be in. For the fishing quest. Good gravy. Where are the armored cave fish? There we go. That's number two. Number three. Fantastic. Clumpy RNG is clumpy. I can't believe we're still on the mechanics rod, actually. Just give me one or two more I'm a cave fish. I guess this is not where we need to fish for the quest either. Whoops. Caught in caverns. Yeah, we're just not getting that lucky. Take the frog leg. There we go. One more. Have you put a crate in the glimmer? No? I did look at uh, the glimmer wiki page, but I kind of skimmed it. Great. Oh, Azure Crate becomes Sky Crate, Boreal Crate. These are all downgrades. It's like the hard mode version becomes the pre-hard mode version. Yeah, these are all downgrades. So unless you're looking for something very specific... 
specific from a crate that has to be pre-hard mode. Uh, but yeah, Nagaskin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Very weird that we get seaside crates from everywhere on this seed. But I can kind of see why they did. Just want one more armored cave fish. Pretty please. There it is. Okay. Let's make endurance potions. Please give me more than five. That is technically more than five. Putting our total up to seven. Uh, vile mushroom goes here. And get rid of this, get rid of that. What's in here? Way too much. Or chaos. Or chaos. Or chaos. Uh, okay, yeah. Teleport me right next to a... Right next to a trap chest. Sure, let's go. Just cut all of that away. Yoink. And for chaos. Well, I don't know what I was expecting, but that was pretty disappointing. It's fine. Let's put all this other stuff away. I'm not going to be needing wire. Prismite turns into life force potion. And I should probably make sure I have everything I need to make the best healing potions the moment the Moon Lord is summoned. I'll just double check what goes into it. Uh, let's see. Super healing potion, 200 life. Greater, which is what we've got, plus 1, 2, 3, 4 fragments. Uh, one of each type. It takes one of each other type to convert. So if I make these big potions first, uh, I could make like, what, six or seven? That's like seven minutes. Well, more like five minutes of fighting the Moon Lord. And also a bit of a waste of fragments. Um, so I think I'd rather just hurry up and craft them in the minute that we have before the fight. Um, required objects bottle, just like any potion. Cool. Let's make some more chlorophyte bullets, I think, before we go. I want a couple of thousand, at least. So five of these makes one bar, makes 60 bullets, so it's like 11 
ish, 12, 12 bullets per ore. It's about, um, I can't math right now. Probably about 80 is all we need. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop there. Whoops. Oh, there's no more in this direction. Uh, we've got a bit to the left. Fantastic. That should be more bullets, like more than enough bullets to make even me comfortable. bars 2460 bullets for a total of almost 3500 that's already perfectly um, I've got plus four damage or defense on almost everything it's just the hoverboard and terror spark boots that are lacking how much money do we have Four plat Hmm, how much does this cost? A lot less to reroll. Let's get that extra one defense, or better yet, menacing, plus 4% damage. That'll do. And... Probably whichever we get first on the Terra Spark Boots. Warding or menacing. There we go. So we're down to 71 defense. Um, 150 range damage on the Vortex Beater. So we've got Hoverboard, Knockback, and Debuff Immunity, Charm of Myths, uh, Ninja Gear, Avenger Emblem, and Ranger Emblem, and Terra Spark Boots. This is about as good as it gets. And we got 9700 Venom Arrows for when we switch to the Phantasm. I'm not going to bother switching helmets. It costs like a half a second or so in the middle of the fight. I could just be shooting him instead. Especially with the way the bow winds up. So I think that's it. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Unless I were to jump into Sandbox and practice against him 600 times. Okay. We've got 
almost 900 great of mana potions. I'm not even focusing on mana, that's fine. This is the wrong ocean. Let's teleport to the other one. What's this metal? Oh, it's just, just a possessed armor. And I think I'll just stick with these potions until... Until I pop the... Uh, the pillar. Once I do that, question is where to start the fight. I think on the left side of the map would be best. There's a lot of empty space over here. Uh, and then I just have to watch out for this if I'm not going to turn around. The terrain down here sucks, but I'm going to be using Grav Potion to stay in the air regardless. But yeah, we've got much more much more consistent empty space over this side. Okay. In we go. Could, could you could you be persuaded to go away? Thank you. Fantastic. Fell right into that hole. Let's get some light. And it's on. Oh yeah, this is the... Probably the easiest place to deal with. Not to get cocky. It's a lot easier if we can get it... Ow, ow, ow. It's a lot easier if we can get it populated with those not very threatening balls. As opposed... Oh my god. Right from the edge of the screen. Just on the perfect trajectory. They weren't even on screen when I dodged to the left. I really dislike the range limit on vision. There's a mod that improves it, but it looks terrible, honestly. That, like, there's absolutely no way I would have done that if I could have seen those two worms. Which, you know, there was nothing to obstruct my vision or anything but the edge of the screen. All those potions rip. I'm glad I wasn't carrying uh, the defensive potions. Endurance potions. Also, why do I have... Oh, I see. Alright, this time, can we not have literally the worst few enemies just spawning in the perfect bad places? As we try and leave ourselves with nothing but the cute little bubbles chasing us. See how easy this is? It's not the same... It's not the same fight we were just dealing with. Not by a long shot. can pretty much get it to be a hundred percent bubbles. Oh my god. The angles. Stop it. It literally spawned on top of me. I am not impressed. Uh, 
That shouldn't be a thing. Alright, let's... let's regen. Teleport back in. While our buff potions tick away. But I stay over here where it's nice and flat. Doesn't want to spawn any of the bubbles now. Here we go. Basically, you only want to kill them when they're adults. So they split into the smaller ones. And then nothing but bubbles. Holy crap, that damage though. Oh yeah, they build up momentum like crazy off stream, uh, off screen rather. I guess you could say off stream. Oh, it's done. Let's -a go. Sure those things are okay just spawn on my face that's fair I was literally just saying make sure those things aren't still alive when the thing goes down grab all the fragments and we're out of here make ourselves some potion oh my god it's in the void bag okay potions there we go. And then... Uh, which buffs do I need to add? Endurance? That's about it, I think. Uh, let's get ourselves to the ocean. I don't know what time is coming. I really should have paid attention to that. It's been a while since I fought him. But we got to pay attention to when he spawns. Here it is, 8.35. We got 15 seconds. Until he does a beam. Which we want to be on the other side of. Oh, that's exactly the wrong way to do it. I don't even remember how to do this. Can I fall faster, please? He does it from above, so I have to be able to curve down below him, right? Nope. And now he's underground, and I'm dead. Cool. I, I literally remembered how his eye beam works backward. Uh, he does a sweep from below, and you have to go above his head. And I remembered what to do exactly wrong. I thought, start right over his head, but get on the other side of it right before it attacks. It's a rough fight, yeah, but it's it's basically just a knowledge fight. Like, if you know exactly what his pattern is, and the exact steps of the dance, and don't mess that up, it doesn't take a whole lot of mechanical skill to beat him. 
it's literally just because I remembered the opposite of uh, how that I beam, the, the the tracking that that I beam does, is bottom to top, not top to bottom. And if you've never seen it before, it's sheer luck if you're in the right position to dodge it. Like, that's not even an exaggeration, it's just luck, if you happen to be in the right place to be able to get around it. Well, that was a good waste of time. Uh, now we're supposed to do all four pillars again uh, for the privilege of attempting that fight. Unless we had a lot more nebula fragments, which we don't. Uh, I think we're also out of some other kind of fragment. So, time to do the pillars again. Because a lengthy path to a second attempt is what everyone finds fun in a video game. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, I don't think it gave me the sound notification, but Ronnie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's shove all this in here. And hopefully the lunatic cultist is available to fight right now. Um, I'm going to need some of my better potions to fight him. This is probably enough, to be honest. This for safety. It shouldn't be too difficult with Vortex Beta. Don't know if I remembered the Archery Potion either. Okay. Actually, this is faster. Did I forget to pick up the buffs? I did. One, two, three, and less importantly, four. Okay. Down we go. Faster, please. Okay, just spawn right in my face. That's cool. when he's doing the dragon summon. Apparently not. There it is. Yep, and we got stuck on terrain at the perfectly worst possible time. Okay, I'm not salty. You're salty. Please tell me we can reattempt that without waiting a whole day. Would it be worth getting the Rod of Discord? It it could take five minutes, or it could take 500 hours. That's not even an exaggeration. Um, it's like a half a percent chance drop rate. And first you need the Chaos Elemental to spawn. Um, you could dig out... You could dig out an area where there's practically nothing there but for some space uh, for the Elementals to spawn. Maybe even make something where everything but Chaos Elementals fall off the map. But they'll tend to teleport up to you. I don't know if that would be worth that distinction. Um, let's see. 
let's go back in while we've still got our buffs. And hopefully it'll let us try again without waiting 600 years. Wherein we'll have forgotten our mistake. I don't see any cultists. I think we have to wait till the next day. Hopefully that is technically in 50 seconds. Alright, well if that's the case we should definitely regen. should be respawning in 10 seconds or so. I'll hold on to the greater healing potions. Endurance is about to run out. What a waste. They're not here. They're not here, so we have to wait an arbitrary amount of time before we can try again. Um, I don't know how long that'll be. I could try the sundial. Actually takes longer than I expected to cycle through the whole day. And let's have a look. They are here. And my summons are aggroing them before I'm ready. Cool, thank you so much for that. Alright. Once more with feeling. Almost got clapped by the star. I don't know what I'd be supposed to do uh, without the mini-map here, because that's where I'm looking. Should be a dragon coming. I don't see it. That, there it is. I don't know why they wouldn't just show that on the mini-map, honestly. I would use the flamethrower on it if I could see it coming, so I could actually make that decision. I guess I could just wait until I see the tell that they're going to summon dragon. almost done. This is it. This is the dragon tell. And I'm just spamming flamethrower at this guy because I can't see the bloody thing coming. It never came. are done. Give me those hearts. And let's do the vortex pillar, I guess. I might leave the vortex pillar for last this time, because I think it's the easiest one to deal with. There's just... It's the only one with no bullshit. That's, 
That's it. That's all there is to it. There's, um, there's enemies that you should kill quickly because they eventually become queens, which are rather dangerous. But there's no enemies teleporting behind your back and shooting you immediately. There's no being overwhelmed by melee enemies while you're banned from being in the sky. And there's no enemies spawning on top of you. It's just a straight fight. Stop trying to be fancy with this one. Oh, and now I'm wasting the good healing potions. But I've got 97 of them, so I guess I'll try not to worry too much. It's actually the first time today that I have gotten used to the idea, viscerally, that falling stars are a threat. Because the instinct before was always to move toward them. So am I. This right. Oh my goodness, they're still coming. Like, shouldn't he have despawned being two screens away? I guess not. literally just thought, okay, there can only be like five of these things still chasing me. I'll go at this angle. There'll be nothing over here. Because there can't be. Except maybe the corruption enemies that are now spawning. Nope. I used to get nothing for selling the Ancient Manipulator. Five gold is a nice improvement. How's the bullet count? We've still got 2600. Table fragment. Oh, the phantasmal dragon. Cool. Something. Let give give me a pet of the thing that I hate almost the most. One of the things I hate the most in this game. I mean, it's not that big of a threat or anything, but it's up there in terms of things that if you see it, it's already too late, or you've already dodged it usually. Um, yeah, we're going to do these two in the middle. So we did the third biggest BS one first. We've got number one and number two and number four remaining. Do I still have potions? I do not. Oh yeah, I died. I forgot. <laughs> Literally just... Hey, we cleared it. Clap. Oh, cool. Um, can I... 
portal, actually. As I'm stuck in the air. I didn't expect it to... Hold on, what? Oh, the vortex pillar is there. I thought it was on this side for some reason. My patience and attention is at an end. I really don't want to burn through the last of these potions fighting the pillars and have to farm them again for the Moon Lord. Resto potions are not relevant anymore. Let's just sell them. Probably shouldn't have made this many super healing potions. I could have just summoned the Moon Lord again. Uh, let's make some more grabs. Fantastic. Uh, we're practically out of regen potions. Okay, that was pretty lucky. I think I just got eight regen potions out of three mushrooms. Very nice. All the other ones I want to use... We've got a few left. Let's do Mana Regen. Um, endurance we have to do way too much fishing for. We've got plenty of Wrath. Don't have any Rage Potions because I didn't bother making a Crimson Biome this time. Should be using archery, hunter. Well, I should put some of these aside in a different container for when I want to add the ones that I want to use against the Moon Lord. These two we should just use anyway. I'm really conflicted about Featherfall. Technically, it's an advantage, but. N just not being used to slowly falling can be a problem. Uh, life Force is also going to be in the when we fight the Moon Lord chest. Inferno Potion, I don't think accomplishes anything. Calming Potion. No, I think literally nothing can spawn when we're fighting the Moon Lord. I want to use the Calming Potions against the Pillars. Uh, Wrath Potion we should use all the time, because we have so many. Hunter Potion doesn't matter, everything's visible. Thorns isn't going to do much. Heart Reach may as well. And that's about it. Flipper in case I fall into the water. Like with the fish run boss fight. Okay. Let's put these in this chest on the left. I'll come get those. Archery is cheap. Life Force is relatively cheap. Whatever. I'll come get those when we're going to fight the Moon Lord. Okay. Where's this portal go? Up here. I hate to say it, but I should fly from the right side. But I can't be bothered. Let's go. 
The Featherfall is quite the comfort when hitting we're falling upside down and hitting the top of the map is literally death. Can I zoom this out any further? Guess not. That's not too bad, I suppose. This is still better. I think I will use this view to fight the Moon Lord again. It can be a bit much depending on what else is on the screen sometimes, though. Oh no, do we literally have an uphill battle to the solar pillar? Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's fly over it, high enough that enemies won't spawn. I'll land on the um, Harpy. Go away! You scared me. Uh, I'll land on this and run off to the right. And we'll start from the right side of the pillar. Please don't spawn any crawlipedes yet. I think they have to come from the ground. They can't just appear way up in the air. Where are my minions? There we go. Gotta be careful with bullets with these things, because they'll reflect them back at you. Probably should have used mage for this, but can't really be bothered swapping. This is actually a really, really good spot. Whoa, careful. I don't think I could ask for a better spot than this. What just hit me? That star was scaring me. Why are they not coming from the right side, either? No, they come from the right. Not very much, though. I think when they fall right there, they can't do the spinny rebound all your shots thing. halfway done. Save some ammo, why not? to go.
Oh, we're done. I have to get over there now. Hopefully not get clapped by a crawlipede. Fantastic. You are overwhelmed with pain. You left. Let's not forget to pick up the uh, goodies. Did I pick it up from the uh, the other pillar? No, I think because I was still running from the um, uh, still running from the spawns. All right, let's pull it. Put this stuff away. Go to the ocean. Go to about where we died, and then a little to the left. I've still got 2,300 bullets. Oh, I'm higher up than I thought. I don't think it shows it on the map. Eh, here it is. Stardust fragments. Fantastic. I haven't actually made the um, the summon items yet. It's not going to make much of a difference though. Although the cells are just as good as Sanguine Bat at hitting things regardless of where they go. And they deal a lot more damage. I actually reached the other island this way. Okay, the other worst pillar. This one's a lot less... Am I falling? Oh god. I thought my grav potion had run out. I think I saw the count of some other potion timer and thought grav was running out. And I very nearly went to space for no reason. Okay. This one doesn't spawn enemies on top of your face. The pillars actually vary from... Like, the pillars themselves, if you go close to them, vary from no threat at all to actually quite dangerous and or completely unfair. I really like the Stardust Dragon. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not the best for boss fights where you have to move a lot. Um, I think. Definitely the best against worm boss fights, but by the time you have it, it's really just the Moon Lord. Oh. Oh, nasty. But how many... Okay, how many brain suckers do you need? Wait, not brain suckers. Nebula floaters. Those are my nemesis. Nemesis. Nemesi? Yeah. 
2,000 bullets left. I should probably make some more before the boss fight. Like, I know what we've got is more than enough, but I want more than more than enough. Those, it was making no sound. I thought those were just like background effects coming from so far away as well. just ran out. What was that? Ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Nothing? Done. Fantastic. Not today, Ampula Floater. Alright, where are the fragments? Gimme, gimme. Let's upgrade our minions. I think... Oh, that's a lot. I think one Stardust Cell, one Stardust Dragon would be a really good combo. I really like the unlimited station buff time. That was a good change. Let's re-roll these. Make them a ruthless. Demonic, plus 15%, that's probably fine. Negative 15% damage is not so good. Mythical is quite good. Alright. So, Sanguine Bat, Sharknado, you can probably take a rest. Let's compare the damage. 86, 62, 69, 104... Hmm. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I'm not going to kill the Vortex Pillar just yet. We're just going to clear it down to 100%. Take a little break. And when we return, Moon Lord, take two. Anything gonna spawn? I'm not that far up in the air, am I? And now 600 million of them spawn. Okay. Do I have a calming potion? I do. Don't know what hit me there. But it hit me pretty hard. I 
thought my minion was an enemy projectile. What the hell was that? Just spawn right on top of me. I wish I knew what the hell those lightning things were about. Still haven't made sense of it. Yeah, that, right there. Like, what warning did I have that that was going to happen? Traveling merchant has arrived. He is very keen. Apocalyptic eldritch armies attacking. Yeah, but we gotta make bread. Thirty six enemies to go. That was close. I got a free dodge there. And again. RNG is spiky. We took zero damage. And again. Get that kind of luck against the Moon Lord Beam. from or why it just did and shotgun from across the map that seems fair right after I refreshed some potions as well uh, we had like seven enemies left to kill or something as well I really don't want to pop potions for this last part. Literally one. One enemy. That's it. We can go kill the Vortex at our leisure now. Let's get some more chlorophyte bullets. We have... Not that much of it has grown back yet. Maybe we should go to the jungle. Pop a... That's the wrong thing. Uh, pop a... Spelunker potion. Oops. Don't want to be wasting ammo quite like that. Can I get a mining potion as well?
How much have we got? 134. Uh, a thousand bullets would be what? Five makes sixty. Let's just multiply by ten. I think we're already approaching about two thousand, actually. Only the fiftieth jungle slime. I guess that's a very specific type of slime. It's not just uh it doesn't include the spiky slimes, for example. Alright, that's probably enough chlorophyte. Let's go make some bars. Make some bullet. Where did our bullets go? Uh, did I put them over here? It's getting hot. It's hard to think. I might just buy some more. Let's go. There's not even room in the void bag. There we go. Actually running out of mud. Wow. Uh, but we quick stacked the bullets, didn't we? I still don't know where they are. Bullet. Quick stack. It's in the piggy bank. I should have known that. Uh, and we need the chlorophyte bars. Okay. Another 2700? Ready perfectly? Let's grab... I don't need to quickly make potions this time. Definitely want these endurance and life force potions. We've got enough of everything, I think. Any other potions we could possibly want? I think we're out of calming potions. Water walking doesn't do anything. Very unlikely that we need flipper potion, but whatever. It's cheap as chips. Thorns potion, because the final point of damage is going to be reflected back at the Moon Lord. That's definitely how that's going to happen. Uh, Inferno Potion, I don't think it has any utility against Moonlord, uh, and I rarely use it anyway because, well, two reasons. You have to farm, you have to f do lava fishing to farm these, uh, but also the graphic is extremely distracting. Um, don't need Hunter Potions. I think that's it. Alright, so when we return, we'll continue. This time we will definitely 100,000% kill the Moon Lord.
or at least this time we'll have the advantage that we don't remember the very specific dance steps that we need to keep up. Uh, it, we don't remember the most crucial step backward. Good luck, indeed. Thank you. Alright. Do some words on stream in the meantime. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, I'll see you soon. And when we return, it's Moon Lord time. Uh, Lucian's Ver, thank you for the follow. Do enemies not spawn at your base? Uh, most of the time, no. Uh, if you have three or four uh, villagers, NPCs, in one place, uh, you'll very rarely get enemies spawning here, except for, like, invasion events. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna do some words on stream, I'll be back in a few minutes, and then it's Moonlord time. Away we go. Thanks, chill stream, by the way. Thank you.
Okay. Stardust Nebula, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're about ready to summon the impending doom again. And at least if we fail this time, uh, we'll be able to spam a few more attempts without having 30 minutes of killing pillars to reset our experience with uh, learning the boss's patterns. Moon Lord already, indeed. Uh, and this really is a boss fight where learning the pattern is beating the boss. It's not uh, it's not something where you just have to train uh, train yourself up to be more better spatial awareness or or quicker reaction time or something. You have to know exactly the dance steps uh, and when to do them. Most important thing to know is he fires his giant laser every 15 seconds. And when he does that, he sweeps from bottom to top. You need to wait on one side of him until he actually fires it and then go over his head. Not the other way around. Uh, because he will change the direction that he is going to do the laser instantaneously if you move to the other side too quickly. Okay, we've got food, we've got big healing potions, we've got 900 greater mana potions, we've got 4.3k homing bullets, we've got the strongest single target arrows, we've got regen, iron skin, endurance potion, life force potion, uh, shine and night owl and swiftness for, for all that matters. Magic damage, magic regen, grav potion, featherfall potion, flipper potion, thorns potion, wrath potion, heart reach potion. I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. Archery, and I think I said endurance already. We've got one, two, three, four station buffs. We've got two minions. And we've got a dream. Uh, 72 defense. Plus 4 damage. Uh, plus 4% 4 damage. 8%. Plus 4 defense. 12%. Plus 8 defense. 16%. 20% from accessory rolls. And I think it was like 8 defense. Uh, Shroomite Mask for the gun damage, Hoverboard, Ankh Shield, uh, Charm of Myths as much for the potion cooldown as the regen, and Master Ninja Gear gives us, I think it's a 10% chance to just ignore damage. Kinda wish it worked like Dodge in Calamity, where... Uh, it saves up a dodge that works guaranteed, and then there's a cooldown. But what are you going to do? Just to let you know, you have big words on stream thing blocking a third of the screen. Good point, thank you. Okay. Let's -a go, now that I've refreshed myself a little bit. Uh, and we just need to go assassinate the pillar first. Try not to take any damage in the meantime. And it's gone. So much for the no damage. But I have, an, I have a thing or two I can use to get my health back. Oh, okay. We learned something. I don't think it used to do that. The shotgun guys actually have like a charge up that you can see when they're about to fire. I don't know if their aim wouldn't track perfectly. Uh, we learned something. Alright. 
Let's try assassinating that pillar and having as much health remaining as possible. Can I hit it from here? I'm sure there's an angle somewhere. There it is. Spare nothing in deleting the remaining enemies. That actually hit me, even though I dodged past it after it attacked me. Okay. Let's teleport over to the ocean on the left. Get some health back. And... I forgot to check the time. I think Moonlord's going to spawn at about 20 seconds past. I think. There's an awful lot of... Oh, that gets faster as it gets out of the water. Sneaky. What an awful lot of distractions here. But we've already prepared. Here he comes. 12 seconds past. So three seconds early on the hour is when he does his beams. Here comes the first one. And we flip gravity. Oh my goodness, that was closer than I thought it would be. Where am I on the map? Uh, I can hardly see anything. Could you stop chasing me irrevocably? I've lost track of time. There's too much going on. Okay. Why is the map looking like that? It's so hard to see anything. Okay, that beam's gonna catch me. Oh, that was close. His eye is about to attack. There we go. This is uncomfortably close. At least we don't have to spend half an hour getting earning the right to fight him again. I can actually try again with that fight fresh in my mind. Because we have... I think I forgot to pick them up. But that's okay. It won't be hard to get them. Uh, we have four types of... Fragments. Don't attack them. Thank you. Thank you, minions. Where is Fragment? Fragment is... Did I pick them up? I, I actually don't remember picking up the Fragments. But I can't find them. Are they in my void bag? No? Oh, they are in my bag. Okay, never mind. Alright, so since we have a bunch of these to spare, we can simply summon the Moon Lord again. I could also make a hook, but who cares? Celestial Signal, it costs 12. We can do four times. Well, if I have to fight him four times before I beat him, we're going to be fishing up endurance potions again. Okay. Let's summon him right on the minute, or 30 seconds past or something. So we can look at the clock and know exactly when his laser's coming. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, what? He comes a minute after the summon, I think. Which means, nope, he came at 43 seconds. Up 
we go. That did way more damage than I thought it would. There we go. Now we have to lose some altitude. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm gonna die to space. Because I bounced off his hand. There was nothing I could do except portal home and that would have just been death. Cool. Let's wait 600,000 more seconds before I can try again. Make sure we lose the uh, rhythm. Wouldn't want to be able to jump back into something like that. Alright. So he actually showed up like 15 seconds later or something. Which means I don't want to activate my buff potions straight away. Okay, that was 5.58 p.m. Oh good, we lost health. Good, good, good. There's something I couldn't see. Fantastic. This would be a lot easier with um, the sigil. Up we go. Now I need to get away from him and I'm falling. I, I can't fall fast enough. Jesus Christ. When's this laser coming? Way too soon. Now I can't get up. We're out of space. I can't get past him. The lower gravity is not helping. They must have changed that then. I remember it being a minute. Yeah. It, I think it's a minute after you kill the... Um, uh, after you kill the pylons. This really does make me want to jump into journey mode and just fight him 600 times like we did Duke Fisheron. The downtime between attempts is not helpful. Also, I looked at the map and said I should start the fight on the left, but like, the sheer number of nuisance enemies attacking um, because we don't have this lovely bit of ocean that's far away from land on the other side of the map. Uh, really not helpful as I'm trying to prepare for the f final boss. Even if I... Where's this star coming from? Uh, even if I, like, summon him and then teleport to the other side, it might be a better... Where the hell is my conch? Did a Wraith banner jump into my inventory while I had the conch in my hand? And now I don't know where it is. How did I even get here? No, it must be... It must be over here somewhere? Yeah, magic conch. It's, it's, this is pretty aggravating for a favorited item to be dropped on the ground like that for a wraith banner. Alright, in that case, let's take even more time to sort out our inventory first. Whoops. I don't even think clearly at this point. A void bag needs to be emptied. We have two gold rings. Oh, we could upgrade this now. Yay. Get out of my inventory. That combines to coin ring. That can go in here. Yeah, one of my most precious items, let's just drop it on the ground, because it was 
literally in my hands uh, as a random wraith was killed. And let's put a super... I literally can't avoid getting it. Wraith banner. Super common item in its place. Uh, we don't really need another gold ring. Just gonna sell all of this. Life fruit sold for more than I thought it would. Okay, so we shouldn't have another incident like that. Now then, do you have the rod? No, I don't. It could take literally like a hundred hours to farm it. It's hard enough with... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Soaring insignia so that we don't have to reverse gravity to stay in the air. Uh, and without the lowered gravity and the space that'll instantly kill you. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of death to end up at the top of the map against the Moon Lord anyway. But I'm pretty sure the gravity is lower on this seed up the top. Found the Ether? Yes, we did. Um, but yeah, like... You basically have to keep track of... Most important thing is to keep track of his laser and manipulate your positioning so that you'll be in the right place to get around it every single time. At the same time, you have to keep dodging his other 72 attacks, which are all uh, a little too fast to dodge with a Terraria character. But if you know when they're coming... You can avoid them, but there's 1,700 things to keep in mind. We have to do all of this while we're flipping gravity and going upside down and trying to trying to be at about the height of his eye when he is about to laser. But if you maintain that height relative to him, you're going to gain altitude, which is death. So you need to, like, stay below, like, about where his hands or his heart is. You have to stay down there until about the last two or three seconds. Start to gain altitude, get kind of close to his eye, wait for the beam, dodge over it, and then immediately start working on gaining distance and falling back down again to try to get back in position to do it all again. Uh, and then you have to do all that while not running into terrain, not running into the top of the map, uh, not losing track of where you are with flipping gravity, and dodging his other projectiles. It's a fun. Spectra? Uh, spec Spectrate? Spectrate 7 Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, if I start the fight here, I'm practically guaranteed to crash into things, which will be practically instant death. But if I summon him over here, and then use Conch to go to the other side of the map and run away from him, I think it might actually work better. Cat boy cutie cloud, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, if I lose to him one more time, I have to fish up some more potions. Not looking forward to that. I much prefer the I want to be the guy punishment for failure, which is literally just go back two seconds. Well, it could be a few more than two seconds, but... It's not go back minutes and lose the tempo and the rhythm of what you're trying to fight. Because it really is all 
It, it, it's like a dance fighting the Moon Lord. Okay, so let's conch to this side. Get away from all the enemy spawns. So we can have two seconds of peace and quiet. Uh, I could, like, summon him down here and then conch, but, like, I don't know which which coast it's going to send me to. Okay. So... 3.30. Buff. Magic conch. And he appears at... 3.30. 43, I guess. So you can't really dodge those shots. You have to just be moving up or down the moment they start. And now I have to get up here real quick. Or else. Now I have to get distance and fall as fast as I can. And then I have to be back up high before he lasers again. And this is not going well. Uh, I can't fall enough. I, I literally can't fall fast enough to dodge that. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to get his third eye down before he lasers again. It's so much more constricting than a normal than a normal map like i'm literally up the top I, i'm literally just about to hit space the first time i get over his eye i can either try again or fish up some damage redu reduction um, i think if i do that i'm just gonna completely lose the practice basically so we're going to try again. So it was like 12 seconds, or I think it was 15 seconds. Let's try summoning him on 5.30. Could you, could you stop? Thank you. And we're going to magic punch at like 542. Hopefully no monsters spawn next to us. That's a different kind of monster. And his laser should come at 6 o'clock. Yep. Okay. Looking a bit better this time. Ninja gear, thank you. Four seconds until laser. Don't hit space first. Hurry, hurry up. Hurry up and laser, Jesus Christ. That was not 15 seconds past. It was 22 past. So what the hell? I can't even count on that. He's going to get me. And that was 42 seconds. So it's 20 seconds. Did they change it? <sighs> when the whole thing is based on arbitrary timing, uh, changing that laser from 15 to 20 seconds in a patch, that's, that's a kind of rude... I, I literally, I, I was in position, I was exactly in position for the second laser, and it just didn't come. Uh, it's not like I could have just, like, skilled my way out of that once I was in that position. Like... You could see, you could see the third eye laser was coming, and coming, and coming, and still coming, 
And we have to be in a very specific spot. Or a fairly specific... Like, at a fairly specific angle to him, at least. Before it starts. And if we're at that angle, we're gaining altitude. And if we're gaining altitude, we're running out of space and we're going to die. Even if it's not this seed that instantly kills you in space. If you reach space against the Moon Lord, it's really bad news. Yeah, that's that's a little frustrating. Why not just use the fish run mount? The fish run mount's not fast enough. Um, nothing is. Like, if you use, like, a... If you use a rail system, maybe. But his laser will reach you. Uh, and if you get far enough away from him, he'll actually teleport to you. I don't think I should use Featherfall, actually. <sighs> I, I literally can't afford to fight him again. Unless I convert some of these. Nope, that's still not good enough. I, I paid... I, I did the pay-to-play, and we ran out of attempts. So now we have to farm up. Now we have to do the pillars every single time. We can probably get like three attempts for doing the pillars, which takes like half an hour. And is obnoxiously bad difficulty. And I have to farm up potions. I mean, technically I don't have to farm up potions, but... It's going to be more difficult without them. And there's really nothing else left to do in this playthrough. Like, I could do the uh, Frost Moon, I could do the... Uh, the spooky... The Halloween event. I could do Martian Madness, but like... We've got the best weapons for pre-Moon Lord. Or even if we argu arguably don't, it's not going to make much of a difference. Uh, I really wish I could just save state and attempt that fight ten times in a row without the downtime. Which you can with Journey, but this I, I don't actually have a Journey save that's that far in. It actually takes a surprisingly long time. Um, even with God Mode even with being able to duplicate resources after you get X amount of them. Uh, it actually takes a surprisingly long time to go through a journey, like, map and get everything unlocked so you've got all the boss fights available to just practice. Did you do all the shimmer buffs already? I did. Can we see those somewhere? Not that I can tell. They're all individually pretty minor, like poor defense, uh, a bit of health regen, pretty good mana regen, actually, I think. Um, how about... Of course I spent all of the chlorophyte... Oh, we've got some spectra bars. How about just for fun? We do... That's the wrong bar. It's ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is what we need. I am mildly upset that they just quietly changed the cooldown on the Moon Lord's laser by, like, a third. Should probably do the mana upgrade, indeed. Uh, so I need five, ten ectoplasm if I want to do both of these. Soul of Fright, Hallowed Bar. I think I have to kill a mech boss or two. Again. We've got 14 Souls of Fright. 
not so many hallowed bars. Uh, and the other thing was silk. Where am I keeping cobwebs? I think in here, because it's probably a potion ingredient. Danger sense. Silk. And... We need a demon altar. Nope. Naughty present. Uh, before I make two of those, I'll just double check. We don't need the souls of fright for the other thing. Nope. It's hallowed bars for the pumpkin moon. I can't even think of any items from the pumpkin moon that I want. Like, I like some of the... Uh, I like some of the ranged weapons from the frost moon. Alright, I'm not even going to double check my potions and stuff. Let's just buff up. And I have to wonder... Could I summon it on the surface and would that be better? It's a really bumpy surface on this map. Let's try it at the ocean and see if that works. Oh yeah, I thought I forgot this is based on night time, so I probably just summoned them for only two minutes. I don't think we're gonna get our loot with this one. It's based on waves and you've got a limited time. Uh, this seems as good a place as any to fight them. Yeah, we've only got a minute left, minute and a half. I don't think we're getting our chain guns or especially our rocket launchers. Uh, the snowman cannon. Look at this one. Might get a toy tank though, that's kind of fun. You can make a really gimmicky build with that. Holy crap, that does a lot more damage than I thought it would. There's a Santa. Give us a toy tank, or a chain gun. Or both? out of health. Eight seconds left on a heal. The frost moon has passed. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of places to get cover from the bullets there. Where would be a better place to fight him? I could do it in town, but like... When we get to the later parts of the waves, um, it's going to be spamming Ice Queens at us. Where we need to take to the skies. I guess I could always do a, the early parts underground. Uh, and then teleport up to this up to the surface. Ow. That's just rude. Is the world gonna be kept in a perpetual frost moon because it's always night? No. Um that would get pretty hectic pretty quickly. 
with these two events, uh, the Pumpkin Moon and the Frost Moon, um, the, fast, the faster you kill them, the quicker they get really scary. Um, and you pretty much end up just with a screen full of the biggest, scariest enemies chasing you yeah, through the sky. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to wait another 12 minutes or so before I can trigger that again. Uh, Beslaba, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing... <gasps> Hope you're doing well. We got a chain gun? I mean, it's kind of moot because we've already got Vortex Beater, but chain gun on the first drop. That's kind of crazy. Um, that's basically a better Mega Shark, except that it's more inaccurate. You never know, Redigit has been known to make troll esque items and happenings. Indeed. Uh, we also got a Christmas tree sword. Very nice. And one of these stupid pets. These things always appear. When I have to redo my buff potions, for some reason it thinks summoning a pet is a buff that we definitely need to activate. And I always get these things chasing me, and I think it's some kind of enemy homing missile. Um, and I dodge accordingly. But there's only one pet I want to see right now. I guess I could do another fish run. See if we can get those wings 200,000 years late. I think I've run out of... Uh... Uh... Worms, though. I wonder if we're overpowered enough to clap Queen Slime despite having no space. Oops. I want the dual king slash queen slime pet. That's a thing. Let's see if we can do it. And I won't bother making sure I've got all the most useful potions. I mean, we've got three moon lord gear. It shouldn't be difficult, right? It's really just a question of... Are we so cramped in here as for that to be a problem? Okay, maybe? It didn't do much damage. Yeah, no, this is... This is not much of a problem. Okay, I did take way more damage than I should have right at the end. But I kind of knew that I could. Wand of Sparking? That's not a Queen Slime drop. Uh, and we finally have the better version of the Slime Mount. Which I should have picked up a while ago. Wait, do we not have it? Is it random? Or do, doesn't she always drop the mount? The Queen Slime version of Slimy Saddle? We killed Duke Fisher on like 10 times and never got his wings. I can't buy wings from the Voodoo Doctor, and what I thought was 100% wings from Queen Slime we didn't get. I'm beginning to think this seed doesn't want me to have wings.
It's the only wings we've found. Yeah, literally the only wings we've had this playthrough are all craftable. I think we can't get dropped wings in this uh, seed. Um, where's the drop? Here it is. No wings. They drop individual master mode pets and then you can combine them to make one pet that spawns both. <laughs> nice. Uh, but while we're doing silly things at the end of the stream, uh, why don't we... Why don't we test this? I need to put away the guide to critter companionship. And we're going to put prismatic lacewing. Oh, it's the middle of the day. Whatever, she's going to kill us in one hit. It's fine if we get the data that I'm looking for. Um, Where's that prismatic lacewing that I picked up? Here it is. So I'm going to kill this. I can't kill it? What? Hold up, what? Is it because the guide to critter companionship is in my... In my void bag? Okay. Closed void bag, there we go. Wait, where did it go? No, come back, come back, come back. Okay. So what I want to do is kill it and then very quickly go to the ocean. And see if she'll chase me there. I think she will. No? I actually saw her on the map, like, right about here, I think. But she disappeared. Okay. Um, I think we'd probably have to get very creative if we want to fight um, Empress of Light on this map. I think it would probably have to be similar to how you kill uh, the Dungeon Guardian. Wherein you dig a hole in the dungeon straight up and down. Uh, you creep down into the dungeon, wait until you hear him spawn, flip gravity with a gravity potion, fall away from him, and hope that he didn't spawn at an angle where he'll just kill you anyway. He's a hoink, indeed. Um, but my idea is basically... Go the minimum depth down to where we can summon uh, Empress of Light. It might actually be really deep. Because it has to be like the equivalent of the surface, right? So I, this, this here counts as the underground hallow. This counts as underground corruption up here. Uh, this counts as Underground Hallow, I think. I should have tried bringing the Prismatic Lacewing over here. I don't think it would have worked. But I suspect what we would have to do is summon her down here. And then try to pull her all the way up to the surface. Staying just far enough away from her that she doesn't despawn and close enough uh, far enough away that she doesn't clap us while we're trying to do this i i have my doubts that it's feasible Let's see if we can find another Prismatic Lacewing. I want to confirm if our Hallowed Biome up on the surface wouldn't work.
That's a lightning bug. Normally, I'm happy to see those, but in a world where we can get um, magma snails, like 17 of them per day, it's really not that exciting. But they look nice. I guess you could, like, just clear out an absolutely massive area down here to fight her. But I don't do the arenas. That's just a self-imposed challenge and gimmick that I enjoy. Regal Delicacy. What did I just pick up? Summons a slime princess. Hey, we got one of the pets. Should we try getting the double pet? We need gold and or platinum. To make a crown. I think we need rubies. It's so cute. Uh, let's see. Platinum crown. Let's make a few. I can't stack them. That's a bit annoying. It's a minute and a half until time to do the naughty present. I don't particularly want to miss that. We'll maybe do that after. Alright, so make a few platinum crowns. Where are they? And do we need a demon altar? I think. Yeah, here we go, slime crown. So we'll clap. Uh, we could actually do one right now. But like. 45 seconds. There we go. Flamethrower would have been more effective, I think. Uh, I don't think we got the pet this time. I'm going to be really upset if it actually turns out that you just can't get the Queen Slime mount on this seed. Like, I love this seed, but I hate a couple of things about it. Alright, let's go to the ocean. Oh wait, I said this wasn't the best idea to summon them. Uh, whatever, there's no time. Let's a buff and... Naughty present. Naughty present? It's 7.05pm. Why can't I summon the frost moon? What? 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 Why can't I frost moon? You should do get fixed boy next. What's that one? I'm very confused. Oh, now it works. 7:30. Oh, is that night time? That's probably it. Oh yeah, there's a flamethrower called the Elf Melter, which is just a straight up upgraded flamethrower. don't have to farm for. I mean, you don't have to get the crafting materials together for. You will probably find it, like, any time you do the frost moon, uh, pumpkin moon, no, frost moon. This is actually a really good spot. Especially if we're willing to be just a little bit cheesy. Tactics are cheating.
It's a little hard to see where the venom arrows are going in the dark is the only problem. That's a Santa. And we have plenty of cover from him up here. Not bad. That's a really good angle. Well, it's okay, I guess. Okay. Need to make sure I move more when he does that. Okay, 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 okay. We get it. You have a gun. Getting the best DPS right now, which matters when we're trying to get uh, the drops. Down goes center. Fantastic. A few more bosses immediately. We're at that stage. But at least you can just stay out of range of these ones. As I almost land on another one. That water is actually extremely helpful. If I'd known I was gonna just spam arrows like this, I would have brought the, uh, the arrow specific helmet. Here's the first Ice Queen. Swimming bullets. Arrows from here, I think. Good angle. Oh, another one. Let's go. That's not good. There we go. Beautiful angle. Perfect. And we get Ice Queen Relic. That's not what I was trying to read. I think we got the rod. I'm looking for the snowman cannon. I can't even see what I'm shooting here. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Stop it, stop it. Uh, it's only halfway through the night. My heels are down. I'm at half health. It's actually a relief to take to the skies right now. But let's not go to space, that would be bad. Where is she? Uh, homing bullets might be better right now. Totally lost track, there we go. That was close. Okay, almost landed on it. It's getting a little hectic now. Ouch. That actually does a lot less damage than her attacks. Where is she? I can't find her. Is she dead? No, I don't think so. 
probably should have started using some homing bullets there. Ouch. 120 for that little thing. I definitely should have used homing bullets a bit so that was close. She is, now I do. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Why am I stuck? Why can't I move? No, literally, I don't know why. Was there a Medusa up there? I think I got frozen. I didn't even see it, but oh god, oh god. This is exactly why I, I oh no. Oh no. Why didn't it why didn't it end cuz I died? Um this is this is exactly what I didn't want to fight an ice queen in this space. Same goes for Santa. Uh I guess there's nothing for it. Is she gone? No. Um I could have sworn this event ends when you die. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, so far. Oh, that's bad. And there's a Santa over here somewhere that I don't want to run into. There he is. Okay. Okay. This is not where I want to be for this event. I don't suppose I have any chance of escaping. The moon events don't end when you die, apparently. Shoot. And my... I am very annoyed. My conch has disappeared again. It actually kept these enemies in the state that they were in. Now it's over. Alright, time to look for our loot. Which we definitely would have missed some of. Oh, there's so much of it. Wait, lethargic what gun? Chain gun. That's not what we're looking for. Need to shove a bunch of stuff in chests. Hold on to this. Uh, that goes in there. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a pet. And these give me snowman cannon. Snowman cannon? That's a graveyard biome. That was from when we were fighting fish run. I don't think we got a snowman cannon. Oh, we did. Except it's kind of out of date now, but kind of not. Like, it's great cheap homing missiles. Uh, not as powerful as the Vortex Blaster. Uh, and it's also AoE. So it fills that role very, very well. You also can't hurt yourself with it. You can just shoot explosives into things at point blank. And it doesn't care. Uh, so we did actually get what we were looking for out of that. One last thing before we finish. Actually, I should have bought some rockets. I wanted to rocket the slime. Let's flame throw. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty effective. Do we get the pet? I see no pet. I really wish these 
favorited items would just not drop out of my inventory just because it's full. Like, just if it's in my hand, don't fill up the space that the favorited item belongs in. That doesn't seem particularly unreasonable to me. There's no NPCs here. I can't sell and I can't teleport somewhere else. And I can't make room in my inventory to see if we get Slime Pet. Um, how about... How about this? Come to think of it, I don't think I even opened the bag yet. Treasure bag, king slime. Let's go. Did I open this one? I think so. Treasure bag, king slime. I'm not even going to bother selling these. Uh, here it is. Well, what are the odds of getting the slime pet? Can we do two of them? Nope. Slime pet. Doesn't look like we got it. Yeah, we're already over time. Uh, I'm going to have to end it there today. Unfortunately, we did not get the slime pet just yet. Uh, but yeah, I think next week, um, probably before stream, I'll clap the Moon Lord 600 times in sandbox mode. So we don't have to fail and then spend 600 years setting up for another attempt. Uh, and then, I don't know what the next uh, playthrough is going to be. It's 25%, so we got, we got wrecked by RNG. Unfortunate. The item is called Royal Delight. I thought I saw Royal Delight somewhere. It was probably... It was probably the Queen Slime equivalent. Yeah. Anyway, let's see who else is playing Terraria. First playthrough blind co-op. Uh, I think we raided Astrid last time, or recently-ish anyway. It wasn't last time. Last time was someone who was good at building. Specifically. I think. Uh, anyone doing... Anything similar, like seed-wise, or gimmicks or anything? Quite a few people doing Terraria at the moment. From the ground up. Does that mean... Don't dig up? I think it probably does. From what I'm seeing.
Oh, here we go. Zenith Seed. That'll do. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're, into, if you're into that for the Factorios. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. In a couple of days, we're going to continue with uh, Long War of the Chosen for XCOM 2. Which, wherein, frankly, I am uh, pretty worried about the next mission. Take care, Stardust. Thanks for hanging out. Love, Callie. Take care as well. Evil Plum. Thank you all for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Rubber Band Rambo as well. Uh, Zaxxon. Everyone else. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Uh, all right. So that's it for me for a couple of days. See you after that. Take care, guys. Mm. How bad you? Yeah. Oh, Tyrannosaurus.